Listen. everybody it's your boy maddie rance thank you so much for tuning in on this good saturday afternoon for me it may still be the morning or the evening or possibly the next day but i want to welcome you to my live review recap rant roast and the rest of it of rupaul's drag race season 16 episode 12. okay let's be real this challenge was like but I enjoyed things throughout the episode. I just thought this maxi challenge was poo. Lich, yeah, yeah, there we go. Poo. <laughs> I was like, this is kind of stupid. But whatever, we can still talk about it. There was fun to be had. The uh, lip sync for your life was a demolition, if you will. Uh, you know, there were plans for a new apartment building to be put there. So those buildings had to be knocked down. The buildings were dawn. She wanted to be dusk. It was. Lots of dust <laughs> flying into the air after that. They said, body, yadi, yadi. She started posing into letters. I thought I was watching Sesame Street for five minutes. Don was teaching us the alphabet. Meanwhile, clap them thighs, if you will. BB Light was swinging. I'll tell you that. Uh, we'll also get into my joke. My joke. I'm going to tell you that now. My joke. Been saying it for many, many weeks. My joke. Miss Caillou. Okay, uh, everyone's favorite little ball-headed child who's had their feelings, panties in a bunch. You know, it's interesting. I feel sometimes people will do this thing where they're like, well, you're just saying it because you don't like. No, I'm saying it because this was annoying to be had. I can understand feelings, but I even had someone comment saying, you know, if it was somebody else, you'd be all Black Lives Matters. And it was very racially motivated against, of course, uh, me as a black man and uh, my other panelists here, which I can't take anybody who is racist too seriously. Uh, but we got to talk about that because it was a tad bit ridiculous. I know somebody was in their feelings, but if we also get into when it was addressed again, she didn't stand on business and had to be readdressed again. I didn't delete the comment. It's still up there, Omar, if you want to go look at it. But it was like, what are you talking about? Um, Either who, either way, whatever the cases may be, uh, we'll have a conversation. I can also relate to Q in a certain way. A lot of people seem to miss that point when I then bring up other points. It's like, you want to hear me say one thing and then stop. And it's like, that's it. You can't do the butts. I'm a Libra, baby. We balance it out. We have to be fair. Like, that's the idea. <laughs> I have to give you the yes and the no. Sometimes it's yes because it's clearly not going to be a no. And sometimes it's no because what's a yes to her? <laughs> but, you know, I can get where someone's frustrations may lie. But the whole I didn't say anything. Girl, your face was doing enough. Body language also speaks extremely loud in situations. So as much as you could have said whatever you could have said, uh, the way you were positioned was giving I'm mad, I'm mad and all that. But hey. I would be too if I told my entire story, if I gave you everything and then you said, not I today. We're judging this individually. We give it to this one. So understandable. Um, one more point before we get my social medias in terms of this episode. I have a feeling this season is going to be, I don't know, something is telling me we're going to get something a little bit different than usual, and I'm excited for it. Am I still invested? Yeah, I am. I, I actually think the season's a, it's fun. The cast is what's making this entertaining for me. But I also want to say that there have been some recycled numbers I'm noticing, and I'm like, mm, we might not need to do that again because it's getting a little redundant either way. Oh, you might hear my kids playing in the background. Let's get my social media started and let's get the live show going. Remember, this is a live show. The edited reviews will be during the week. Uh, we'll be moving those officially. Hold on, I'm getting a little crisp action here. Hold on. 
Okay, there we go. Sorry. I have my little, uh, you know, power strip sitting over here right now. And I, I could hear the sizzle <laughs> from, from it. I said, ooh, wrong, wrong outlet. Let's move her. <laughs> Make sure this doesn't like blow up on me here. But yeah. Uh, let's do my social medias first and let's get this started. Again, like I said, the edited reviews are during the week. If you want a shorter version of this, I post those as a uh, compilation video of a recap, fully compacted into what it needs to be, where I just get it what what I I just get what I need to get out, <laughs> and I get on with it, and it's, and it's a good time. So check those out. I just posted last week's episode for both season sixteen UK versus the world two. And of course, the finale of the Spanya All Stars. But if you're looking for me on social medias, it's at Maddie Rants everywhere except for X, which is at the Maddie Rants. There's a link tree link in my about section, along with my other links like Patreon. I actually posted UK versus the world too. Proud of my sister Hannah. Uh, reaction on there now, as well as this episode. So if you want to check out my, uh, you know, reaction to this for as low as one dollar a month. Uh, Check me out on Patreon, Bookable on Cameo. I saw a request recently sent. I'm going to go ahead and get that taken care of for you tomorrow in the morning when I'm up and fresh. And then also uh, merch available at dragqueenmerch.com. Now, as a reminder, because, you know, while my mouth can be a little slick, I don't come from a malicious place and we may have different opinions, but I mean no harm. I understand that some people cannot receive that and it may not be for them to receive, but I'm still going to give this to you Anyways, disclaimer, this program's for entertainment purposes only and content is not intended to malign any religion, race, gender, company, individual, or wigs. And all opinions expressed by Maddie Rance and program participants are solely personal views and do not reflect the opinions of every human being on the planet and no hate should be sent to any of the shows or individuals mentioned on this program. So please don't be gross or rude about it. Grab your libations and strap in because Maddie is a talker. You may be here for a while. Please do not post any spoilers in the chat. And if you feel uncomfortable after viewing this program, consume some Mattivia and have yourself a good old nasty Nasty, nasty boot. Okay. Well, that applies to this episode, right? <laughs> Building a bathroom that's gender inclusive, which I appreciate that. It's like, okay, yes, this is important. We'll talk about it. Uh, if you want to drop a tippy poo in my jar, my vacation is literally 13 days away. I have hit, I'm now under the two week mark. I am so close to not turning my computer on, to not logging in to see what drag race is doing anything, and to finally get a recharge because if I'm going to be real with you, my battery is depleted, burnt out. I am currently. I, I was on the phone with my friend. I said, you know what? Got to be real. Ch I'm chugga-lugga-lugga-choo-choo when -choo baby, but this Thomas the Train engine is really getting, it's getting hot in the steam room. It's getting hot in the engine room. So I really need to take this vacation and step away from my computer. As a reminder, April 4th through the 8th, I will not be posting any content. I will be on a trip with my good friends. So needed. Um, I will be back uh, on the internet that Tuesday, the 9th. That's my sister's birthday. Um, I'll be back, of course, to talk about RuPaul's Drag Race uh, season 16. And then Wednesday, it will be UK versus the world. But that Thursday through that Monday, mm -mm. Not going to be available. I'm just going to let you know. My therapist told me, Maddie, you're going to be with your friends. Your phone's going to be on silent. You're going to disable your apps. You need to take a break because my blood pressure has been rising lately. And I'm like, girl, I need a moment <laughs> away from this computer, away from the algorithm, away from chasing numbers and reading negative comments. I need a break. So listen, if you want to drop me a little tippy poo in my jar, it is going to Miami because I already have my money set up for my bills, bitch. I was, I'm not playing. <laughs> It is paypal.me for slash for the rants, catch up those side rants, and then my meta dash rants. Y'all don't know. <laughs> I've been over here in full calculation mode. My suitcase is actually packed. I'm waiting for one more uh, outfit to come, and that's for the airplane ride over because I have everything set up. I literally organized everything to the T. I have never been so gung ho, like just to get out, like to not be home. I have a, a sitter for my cat who's going to be here. Uh, shout out to Bleaker. Like, also, DW was uh, willing to uh, catch, you know, and take care of my babies. But Bleaker's going to be spending the week with me. Bleaker's actually going to be coming out here on uh, 
the first of April, we're gonna be spending some time together. And then they're also taking their break, spending some time in my home and they're gonna be watching my babies for me. So for those of you who are like, what's gonna go on with the cats? They will be fine. They will be just fine. I mean, Bleak are gonna, of course, record a movie podcast while they're here and we'll be actually in the same room. So it'll be a lot better than us having to do the separate stream yard bit. So prepare for that. So yes, I will be doing something before I go, but there will be things. But yes, everything is aligning and I'm putting nothing but that good positive energy out there right now. But as far as content's creating and concerned and like reading negative stuff and drag race, drag race, drag, uh, girl, I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm like, all right, let's finish up these this week and a half, and then we're taking this break. And when I come back, I'm ready to go, and I'm going to just leave it there. I'm going to do a lot of healing on this trip. I promise you I'm going to be drinking. I'm going to be having a fun time, right? I know my therapist is watching this video right now. I am going to have a good time. <laughs> so if you want to drop a little tippy boo in my jar, it's a please and a thank you. Not necessarily for your participation, but paypal.me forward slash money rants. Cash up dollar sign money rants and Venmo Medi dash rants. She, she, you hit me up right before this video. I see you, baby. Great work, insight, and edited reviews. Thank you so very much. I appreciate y'all who are watching the edited reviews. That is a love letter to those who are still supporters of my channel, but may, may not be able to be here for these long winded conversations, these fun little uh, trips down, uh, you know, the episode lane. And of course, watching the panel with my friends, they may feel some of the opinions are a little sharp. You know what I mean? So, I appreciate those who are supporting that. That is a lot of work in those edited videos. I've already dealt with so many computer issues with getting it uploaded. Yesterday was an issue getting that video uploaded. It was supposed to be up three hours prior, but I had to do 35 billion things to make the video manageable to post. That happens in the editing game. This is why I don't do it as much. And I like the lives because I can, of course, y'all know I'm a good storyteller and I like to uh, talk about these shows and include you in the conversation, but it's not always for everybody. So I do that because I care and I also want to make sure everyone's happy. I may not just be for some people. That's for them. I don't care. I don't need to, right? So appreciate y'all. Love you down. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you can't drop a tippy poo in my jar or if you tippy poo and you still want to do a thumbs up the algorithm is doing this it was here and then it was like eh, but it's not there but it's here so i need y'all to hit that thumbs up button make sure you get in that comment section 100 is the homework please leave a comment on the video and all that jet and all that jazz i have my coffee I have my coffee. Sorry, I've you know you know I'm taking a break from the ganji, and then I get back to it sometimes. But I'm on a break again, so my sleep schedule is like jacked up, <laughs> and I barely got any sleep last night uh, working on these videos. And then once I did get some sleep, I woke up very late this morning. My kids woke me up. Had to go to the grocery store because I'm like Maddie. We can't order food. We gotta get some dinner. We're almost there. Save. <laughs> it's been a lot, but. Again, appreciate y'all for your support. I love that y'all tune in for these lives, whether you watch the edited or not. And thanks for being a part of my community. You're very much appreciated. So thank you so much. Okay, let's look at the poll right now and see what it's giving <laughs> before we start this episode up. Right now we have about, oh, the votes are coming in, 134 votes to be exact, with 186 of you watching. Hit that thumbs up button. 44% of y'all, that dragging in the lip sync. Is the lip sync the high mark of this episode? I want to see it in the chat. Uh, 34% of you, Caillou in her feelings, that I needed to trademark that since it's being shared amongst folks and girls are going to start stealing my fucking comedy like they already steal my ideas for sure. 11%, a team win this week after last week. That was petty. No shade. That was petty. I'm going to be real with you. As as much as I'm here for my sister, Safira, winning, and anyone saying she's boring, wearing the same silhouette, when this week she proved she was not wearing the same silhouette, the same people that were talking about Nymphia wearing the color yellow consistently, once again showing a different color, hush. There is aesthetic. Some people brought a lot of things that are their, that are their aesthetic, and then they want to switch it up every now and then. Chop, chop. Y'all the chop. You're a chop. <laughs> chop. You may hate that I said that, but chop. <laughs> that 
that was petty of production. I'm here for the pettiness. And it also made me laugh because I was kind of going, this is what you get. <laughs> and then what made it even funnier is that your partner from last week that you said deserved the win with you, if not you or her, got the win the following week for not almost show, like literally for not showing their ass. Hello. <laughs> also had a vulnerable moment this episode and got the W. When I say Q, I would have been hot. I would have been hot. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the situation. They dragged you, sister. They did. They kind of dragged you a little bit. Had all that attitude. I didn't. I feel like that. all that. Jane literally was in that group with you. Well, we didn't get it, girl, but she got it this week and as a team. It was a shared with. I, I, you know, as Q's face cracked, I would have been, if I was on the show, just looking at her like, ain't that something? <laughs> Not to laugh, but I've been like, ooh, ain't that something? Remember when you were, and then that didn't, and then this went on, and mm -hmm. that's kind of what happened. How you feeling? Are you okay? <laughs> because, ooh, they must have, mm, they didn't like that sister. <laughs> Okay, sorry, we had a little slowdown here. Let's go ahead and bring this up. For those of you who are probably wondering, Maddie, you've had a little Pokemon background action happening. Well, after boycotting and not wanting to play the Pokemon trading card game live that they had the new update for, I have officially been sucked back into it, and it is a part of my daily life. At least four hours, I know, because I've, I've looked at that my... Um, you know, on your phone, you see how much you use the apps. Because, you know, I'm really good at the game. So it's like, oh, my God, it's it's been helping me cope with this trip coming up. And it's been a good time waster when I'm not working out or I can't find anything on TV. Oh, because they changed the game. They did this update and they I literally lost 40 percent of my cards, which I had about six thousand, six thousand cards in my entire preserved deck online from collecting and then when they moved it over to this new game i lost 40 percent of my 40 percent of my cards and then the other set of them they're banned now so i can't even use them in the new meta and it's like what the hell is this so they don't have a way of playing with the other cards right now and it's very annoying i'm just like mm. So, yeah, that's why I was a little angry, but I got back into it. I'm just not going to purchase the way I did because the game is very, um, it's driven on you winning matches so that you earn packs versus me going out and buying stuff. So, anywho, sorry, that's my little nerd rant <laughs> right there. I love the game. I'm very good. If you want to fight me, you can add me because it's easier to add now and you can play on your phone. So, please let me know. It's Maddie Rants 7 on uh, Pokemon TCG Live. Send me your friend request. I'll beat you. And if you beat me, I'll say I beat you. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this conversation about Q's wig is, is going to be... <laughs> oh! Just, just, just not good. Just not, not good. Not good. <laughs> the fuck is that? What are those? Okay, listen. We lost Maya after lip syncing for her life. What was this? Was it eleven? A, a a bit of maybe a third of her portion in the competition here. It was a a rough road for our baby Rudy Huxtable, but I knew Morphine was going to be happy that she was. I beat her, girl. I get to save that going home. No shade to Morphine. I thought this was funny. But also, I was like, I know you ha hype, sister, because, you know, low-key, baby. She would have, the dragging. <laughs> if it had not been that many times, okay? If it had not been that many times that girl had lip-synced against, against people, Morphine, I almost, mm, I don't know. We may have had a double Shantae, possibly. Because it was a good time. It was still the best lip sync of the season, in my opinion. But it was fun. It was fun. Listen, even in this moment, you can see somebody is still stuck on angry. 
even in us walking back. Mind you, you carried that face. You carried that face. From the moment your name wasn't called to the time you sat back there. Do you hear me? Okay. Waited. Waited, child. Waited for it. You had to go sit on ice for a little bit while they were doing other stuff when the girl had to walk away and get ready for that. And then you had to walk in and film this thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I thought about this. I said, Oh no, you kept this energy all the way through. That's, that's tough. Q. I know you were hot. I hope your head don't hurt. It's a lot of space. I, I hope it don't hurt, but they're talking about Safira's win and giving her some coots and like, girl, you did that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And Safira is happy for her win. She's even said herself she was shocked when it happened. But in this moment, the camera keeps panning back to Q, sourpuss, slow eye roll, over it. She felt she deserved that win. Now, again, I saw the pit stop and I and I'm listening to Lawrence and Trixie. And I, I the way my eyebrow raised up, I said, Yeah, it would be y'all having this conversation. Well, the girls weren't fair when they were all in her face in this moment, asking her how she feels. Uh, and da 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 da. Bitch, you've been on TV, both of y'all. And as much as you just said also in that pit stop that you loved and you liked her getting kind of like bitchy. So, so hold on. So this was now their fault for asking her what's up? Because baby, let me tell you something. If you carry this old sour mug from the back, from the from the stage to back here with hours that we've spent in time. Yeah, I'm going to be like, girl, what's your problem? What's your tea? I felt that we deserved to win. Is that the case then? Okay, you can feel that way. Feel it all over there, but I'm not receiving this is how I would have let that go for me personally. Safira was very kind. That's a kind Libra. Ooh, that's a kind Libra. I need to know Safira's placements badly. I want to know what her, uh, I need to know her rising and her moon immediately. Because this, this Virgo rising in Gemini moon over here? Nah, it wouldn't have been me. Q would have got my mouth that day. And, and not just here, but then the next day when she tried at the table, clocked in, I would have. It's Cancer Pisces. That may explain. <laughs> that may, that's a lot of water. That may explain. <laughs> that may explain. Because I, mm -mm, couldn't be me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not I. No, 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 no. I would have, I would have done all that. Now that I love you. I see Safir again, kindness in this moment, because you see her being pissed off about it. It's not your fault, Safira. It's really not. It's the judges who made the decision. Okay. For you to win. And yes, I can feel Q saying, I'm mad at them because they don't see me. I received that. That's not how this felt and translated. And I don't know how, I'm not in the room, but even if I had just won and I sat there and I was so elated and excited and someone is sitting across from me who I respect and they're giving me mug and then tell me I didn't deserve nothing, bitch, I'd be heated. I wouldn't have given her grace. So yes, Safira is a real one, which is why when people be talking shit on her, I'm like, y'all should really look into this. A lot of you would have probably pulled a whole angry black person card on her. Yes, you would have had she dragged her just like, say, if I wanted to do something like that. And instead, she showed her kindness and she gave her patience. She prompted her later, but she gave her peace when she could have gave her war. And that's the tea. Just like that little petty ass comment that was left in my chat. Yes, you girl who said, well, y'all are just being biased towards Q because had it been Safira, you would have been all Black Lives Matter. That lets me know that you in this situation would have taken this moment had Safira clocked in and you would have made this about 
the aggressiveness of one individual because y'all feel like she's doing the same person and the same this, that, and the other. I've, I've read the comments. This old soulfulness, this, that, and the other. What if that is her, Miss Thing? Just like Q over here is a little bit sometimes introverted and she can throw in a black sin every now and then because that's just the kind of individual she's been. Maybe those are the people that she's around. Maybe she's putting a lot into each and every challenge and it gets personal for Q so that when these things just happen, it gets deep. And she forgets this is a show and she takes it personal. Do you see how I just did that? I can hear Safira and I can hear Q, but I also can see the outside perspective of how people can play in this situation. Safira showed her grace. Couldn't be me. And at the end of the day, sitting there with that mug like that, girl, I dragged you. Not I, said the pussycat. I still can understand why Q, even if I would have dragged her, we would apologize about it later, like, girl, my, my bad. Like, I just was mad you were looking like that, trying to give me all the energy the judges didn't give you. Like, don't do that with me, Miss Thang. But you did give a lot, and they did play you. No shade. <laughs> like, I would have had to say it. Like, you did do a lot last week. You did put it in. So I can feel where that's coming from. Don't give me that, though. Because I'm one of them folks. If I read the room and somebody got a little sour face, I can't disassociate. Who are you looking at like that? Why are you mad? We're in this room together. What's going on? Energy feeds. Body language is readable. At the same time, was I entertained by this? Yes, I was. I was, Caillou was given. You better be over there all just mad and angry, looking like you're about to say something all sorts of wrong in the 1980s during the stock market crash. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I, I'm entertained by this at the same time we can have these conversations about it and we can disagree or we can agree. Yeah, because Plain also, I can, under, just to be clear here, Plain wasn't going, girl, we didn't deserve it. Plain was also saying in certain moments when Q was talking, understand that. I agree a little bit there. It was her approach and tone, surprisingly, was a lot different than Q's. So where it didn't come off like she was just petty and angry about it. She was just more, yeah, I felt that way too, but eh. <laughs> we're, we're on a show. <laughs> I want them to burn this wig. I hope that Q took this wig home or whoever has a hold of this wig and they revived her. Hats by Carlos, can you save this? Somebody needs to do something. I hate this wig so much. And I hate it on morphine. Such a beautiful face does not deserve what looks like a canopy cover of, of dry, dead hair. I just, no. God bless you, sister. It, it looks so bad. Like, oh my God. It looks so bad. Help! <laughs> It looks like RuPaul's dress from last week, but in blonde. You know, the bottom of her dress, it looked like it was a table cover. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe to come part of this Rant Pack family. Um, Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. It's super important for the algorithm. If you want to drop a tippy poo in my jar, it's super necessary and appreciated, especially before this trip coming up, which is PayPal at me for slash mini rants, cash up dollar sign mini rants, and Venmo many dash rants. Thank you all so much for tuning in and being here today. And yeah, let's continue. So back in the workroom the following day, Q came in all happy. So I was like, okay, we've dropped this. It's going to be lightly addressed. It's not going to be an issue. Because, yeah, she didn't walk in all. Mm, it was like, okay, mama's let this go. She's had time to sleep on this, whatever. I was ready for the move on. I thought. All right. 
All right. So on today's episode uh, with Caillou, you know, her older sister, adopted older sister, uh, ended up getting an A plus on the spelling test. Uh, while Caillou was given a B minus and didn't understand why when they knew they had the words correct. Uh, so their older sister uh, was given a sticker and Caillou got mad and took that sticker and tore it up. First of all, Don is the beginning of the end here because everyone knows that it will be a twink that causes the destruction of Earth in the Armageddon. Therefore, the uh, apocalypse horsemen will be flying in the sky after we see Don sitting in the middle of the Earth. Listen, Don goes, how are you feeling, Q? I feel better, but I still feel the way that I feel and that I deserve the win. We did this, we did that, da 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 And so... Safira, once again, being as kind as she is, because couldn't be me, definitely would approach this a lot differently, may not have been friends at the end of this, would have tried to apologize later, but my mouth can get a little severe, uh, asked, okay, so tell me what should have happened in this sense? And if so, what do you think was the issue as to why that was. It was the way that Safira asked the question that Q could not answer in this moment that made me giggle a little bit because it was almost to say, I'm about to set you up for the shut up. And I'm glad that they cut that off and we got the ooh and they, they had to come out the room because RuPaul stepped in it. She got lucky. And a lot of people are like, oh, she didn't do too much for me. I almost promise you that the way Safira was about to get her, it was the first question out of a series of questions that was going to lead to a statement, okay? If I know a Libra, I know we like to be uh, dramatic when it comes to sometimes going in on somebody or having a rebuttal when a bitch try you. Because her confessionals felt, I felt the heat. I said, oh no, she was about to do something and we didn't give them enough time at that table and I'm mad about it. <laughs> She wanted to ask a question just to see how she was going to answer. And then she was going to come with it. It was going to be, so, so what do you think? Should <laughs> I said, okay, baby. And Dawn was just here for it. She was like, I love, I love this show. What, whatever channel this is, I'm putting on my favorites. I can't. Mm. RuPaul suit. Do I like this? I think I do. Do I like this? I think I do. The shoes? I don't... Hmm. Okay, I know what it is. I think I like the pieces separately, together... It's a, it's a lot, but I also like the design of it, but I, I like the jacket, but if he paired it with a different pant, I'd be even more like enthused. And if the pants were separate with a different, with like a top or another suit, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. I think I want it to be like, I like that, but I just do whoop, and then bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, RuPaul steps into the workroom for one of my favorite mini challenges they've ever done. Yes, yes. Uh, based off of the disturbing face of Tammy Faye Baker for all that makeup that's, uh, you know, got ended up getting her merch where uh, there's a t-shirt with Tammy Faye Baker's makeup on it because mind you, she would meet people and that would be the thing. So they had to paint their faces in like extreme makeup. So that way it'd be readable with Norvina from Anastasia Makeup. Of course, y'all know the sponsor. They're going to get a year's supply of makeup after this and who is going to be giving them $5,000 worth of makeup for the mini challenge. I was like, oh, that mini challenge win? Mm-hmm. $5,000 worth of makeup? Are you crazy? Bitch. $5,000 worth of... Oh! Thank you. <laughs> this is a prize that is usable. Like, God bless her. 
I can't do it. I didn't appreciate the Monet exchange joke, though. It didn't, Norvina. It didn't. I, I didn't like it. I said, when that happened, I thought that, that mug been right. What you mean? Yeah, we could have used somebody else. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> uh, how Christina Aguilera sees herself in her mirror. Anywho, moving on. I'm not going to do that. There are Christina fans out there, and I respect y'all. I don't know how you do it, but there you go. I love this challenge. I thought it was a challenge. It was a good one. <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> I love this challenge. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I hear y'all. I'm 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 making my own little joke about the situation. If you took me too seriously in that moment, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not gonna explain that. I, I'm reading it. It's like Maddie, it's not, and I'm like, no, relax. I was just doing my whole not too much girl. It was it was a bad joke. Don't pull Monet into this. Anywho, uh to get back to this episode here and to focus on more than one thing. This would have been my favorite challenge. I don't know how I would have survived this one. It's, it, yeah. Because, first of all, pair me with the right one. Pair me with the right one, please. That's all I'm asking. Pair me with the right one. That's, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> pair me with the right one. Okay, number number two. Number two, number two, number two. This is the second stipulation before I would have done this. Is it going to be a problem if I slip as I'm going to put my face on the T-shirt? Because if I go low, you know, can that also be graded? Or better yet, can the T-shirts be longer? So that way we get to a certain point. No, no, matter of fact, can we move it up to where... It's just on the chest because if that's where I could just bury my face and do what we need to do, yeah. So this was a great mini challenge. Good for them. I'm I dare I say I already have chosen. And Bryce would not be one of them. And that's it. I, I'm good. That's all I'm saying. I'm good. Like, just not Bryce. I'm not interested in Bryce. No, no, thank you. Go. That's for other folks. That's not for me. That smile he did when they were sitting there. Eh, I was like, oh no, nah, no, nah, friend. You know, I need enthusiasm over here. Let me tell you something. A face full of sock. That now, Dame Organza. Now, that would have been fine too. That would have been fine too because sometimes it's not about what's underneath the sock. It's about the sock. That was deep. You're not prepared for how heavy I am, okay? Kinda, yes. Now, yes. <laughs> Shocking, yes. The, I have a, yes. Yes. I, I felt a little from -mo 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 from this one, -woo -woo, but but yes. Yeah. But no, I for Bruno, it wouldn't be can I go it would be can we just do it on the chest and then just nuzz with the chest over here? Listen, they had a great challenge. I am jelly. Safira was once again in my position, but at the same time, cues. There was just a lot to choose from. I was like, oh my God, this is this is this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> no, I've passed by Bruno in person. That man is big. Uh, but no, I for me, this this was that's what I like this challenge. This isn't fair. <laughs> I've been single for too long. Help, help God. It's been a great journey of being single and discovering myself, but like. 
too much, too much. Anywho, anywho, great challenge. These faces were crazy on these shirts. Um, these faces were crazy on these shirts. I, I can't do it today. It was quite fun. Dawn's was the worst, to be honest with you. I was like, it looked like some ghost ran through their person, like it's Ghostbusters or some shit, and left a little ectoplasma on the face. Like that, that's who Dawn's was giving. I was like, girl, what's going on today? Anywho, Plain Jane won this mini challenge. Uh, her face was kind of actually giving. I like this imprint. This gave me a shirt I would buy. You know, Tammy Brown had merch like this too, by the way. For those of you who know Miss Tammy Brown from the earlier seasons, if you ever saw her at DragCon, she had merch like this. I think I actually have. It was a napkin or something like that. I think I did. I think I still have one. Yeah. Very much. Good job, Plain Jane. You got you a mini challenge win. Now, RuPaul tells them, and I hope you noticed that they were already put in groups. They were literally sitting right, standing right next to each other. So you know they told them to line up <laughs> in order. Just to be clear, because I want I want to show it before we even start this challenge. Okay, look at how everybody is positioned here. Okay, when RuPaul steps in and they're talking, right? You see how they're all positioned? I, okay, this is Maddie Bank. I, I was doing a little work today. I was like, oh, that's funny. Then they're positioned already in their groups. When Norvina is here, it's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no one had to move around. I see you. Interesting. Also, it's better from the perspective of like the director and how they're going to edit the episode because it doesn't show the whole group. Like Safira and Plain Jane on opposite sides of the route or on opposite sides of this lineup to where it's a whole shot. It gives more focus so that way we can be like for those visually watching. It's like, okay, boom. Okay, boom. Okay, boom. So. FYI, I'm not being like, oh, how dare you? Production, we're not stupid. No, it's, this is for the visual aid and helping us understand a lot better, like, who is specifically going to be in the group and making that a point. So there you go. But anywho, so Rue sets the groups up. We have Plain Jane and Safira, Nymphia Wind and Dawn, and then Taylor Thomas, Dawn, Q and Morphine. Now, if you were morphine in this moment, right now, and you were on a team with somebody who has shown to be a bit of a sore loser and also wanted to double down on that attitude this morning, would you not want to check in and make sure your partner is good to go so we're not about to go through nonsense for this episode? Because I was here for morphine doing a temperature check. Like I know you're mad. You're are you still mad? Like let like let me know so that way if you need me to step on in here and try to do most of the work so you can still cool off, please do. I would do that. Girl, are you still pissed? Like like let it out now because you you over here talking about I didn't do anything. I could have said something the previous day and I didn't. You did though. Your your body language was was loud and and very fucking clear. So I don't, this. I didn't say anything shit is, was getting on my nerves. Like, I could have, I could have. I'm like, but you did, though. And you did say, and you were like that. And you can feel that way. That's the, that's the thing. And you can feel that way. But, like, like just, just really get it out. Because that way, once it's over with, it doesn't seem like you're still holding on to something. And that's kind of what it felt like the majority of the episode till we got to later on it felt like you still have something in that tank that's full of i'm angry at you energy either way i thought that q and morphine may have been a good team but we'll see we'll see i hear you over there chewing my cats are doing a temperature check with me right now. 300 plus in the room. Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy, Maddie Rance. We're talking about, hi, big girl. Hi. We're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16, Episode 12. 
Appreciate you for tuning in today. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rampack family. And if you want to drop a tip, you put in my jar for your boy hosting with the mosting today. Please and thank you. Uh, though they do go a long, long way. Drop a tippy poo in my uh, paypal.me for slash meta rants. Cash up dollar sign meta rants and then meta rants. That thumbs up is for free and the comment section is available. And super chats are as well. Appreciate you for tuning in. Let's continue on with the show. I thought they were in trouble from the moment one mouth opened and the other did too. I, I kid you not. I kid you not. I said, oh, they're going to be in trouble. Dawn was talking about, it was hard to work with Maya. Okay. We're both weird. It's going to work. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, listen, not to be rude here. I kind of like the whole fart museum bit. Matt Tivia would have worked. Oh my God. Let me be one with the earth and the universe here. When I tell you that that Matt Tivia would have been pushed through this entire skit. We're doing a bathroom. They have to create a bathroom that's gender inclusive. That's the challenge. Listen, people. Matt Tivia. Oh, yes. Bible girl in me would have, I would have led Bible girl spirit throughout my entire bathroom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Easy. This would have been, this would have been fun to do, but I also think this is a stupid challenge because it's like, what? But I would have definitely made this about um, consumption. Oh, my God. But there's, to be honest with you, if you were given this challenge, thinking about it, where would you go? You know what I mean? Like that, here's the thing for me um, about the whole bathroom bit, like how Safira and Plain Jane were talking about, we need jobs. Mind you, with the Mativia, that's the comeback. You know what I'm saying? Before you walk out the door and there's a green couch that I'd be laying on. Before you walk out the door, uh, grab yourself a little bit of Mativia. That's right, Mativia, because we want to see you come back. That's right. We need you to be regular. Uh, no, we need you to be a regular. Ah, <laughs> a regular as you come through this stall and find your way back. It's a big, big world. Don't let it drive you crazy. You got to pump and then dump. Pump. That's right. Pump the soap. Not what you were thinking. Oh, okay. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. <laughs> It's coming to me. <laughs> okay. Ah, see, see. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, or at least I'm talking about these ideas out loud with you here, I think I would have been fine. <laughs> I think I'd have been fine. But it would have been a couple of let's you want to spitball off of somebody. You want to like, okay, here are my ideas. Do that. You know what I mean? It, we would have done a lot of jokes that had to do with um ejaculation. We would have done a lot of puns in reference to that. Uh, in the bathroom, and it would have been about you pumping and dumping, right? But when you leave, you you want your pump and dump to come back, so you get yourself some mativia, and that's when we would have had, I would have been dressed just like Jamie Lee Curtis, our favorite Nepo baby, Oscar winner, Jamie Lee Curtis, yes, we would have, and I would have gave you all kinds of that tease, very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All that tea. <laughs> and all that jazz. You like Princess Peach Showtime? I've been wondering about that one. I want to play it, but I have a trip coming up. Every dollar counts right now. Maddie's going to be eating a lot of food on this trip. I'm already planning, I'm like, no, excuse me, not vacation. I'm, I'm planning stops. Oh, and someone asked earlier, am I going to, am I going to be doing some sort of like, footage from the trip collage moment situation yeah that i'm gonna do but it'll be you know very i don't know as eight minute video of something and it's gonna be like a couple of picture moments background music a, a few videos of what i'm eating the beach like if we go to the club or something like that just to reference the entire trip and sort of a quick like moment and all that kind of stuff i do want to go to little havana 
I, t- I mentioned it to everybody in the group chat. No one really said anything. I'm going to make a very big deal out of it when we get there because we're supposed to be exploring. We're going to do a day of exploring. I really want to try Cuban food. I have only had it once. I've never had it from Miami specifically where they're like, okay, you can get kind of close to the experience more so. I really want the cube. I, I want one bad. Even if it's pork, and y'all know I don't eat pork, I will be praying to God that day. I want an experience. I want a real experience. Like, I'm going to have to eat this. I'll just pray on it later. Because <laughs> I never get to try shit. And I want to try a lot of stuff because this is what the trip's about. Like, me just breaking those walls down here. Okay. I love how I started talking about myself and we lost, like, 20 viewers. Ew, Maddie. I know I can't eat pork, but... I'm telling you, this trip is going to be a lot of God forgive me. Okay. <laughs> God forgive me. Uh, listen, uh, Don and Nymphia, a little concerned, but I'm also like, okay, there is hope. <laughs> Possibly. They just got to pull it together. It's a lot of ideas. It's a lot of ideas. I knew they were going to win this episode. I just knew it. I'm so sorry. This was the team I had the most confidence in because I'm looking at two people who know their brand and know how to convey it and and give. Where Jane started to show a tad bit of vulnerability in the beginning here uh, is when I started to see, uh uh-oh, here we go. You're intimidated a little bit by Safira, and it's not about her just being an intimidating presence. It's about your respect for her. And that gagged me. You respect this motherfucker. I live. But you also, and you respect her talent, and you know you're good, but you're also like, she may outshine me. And we just saw what happened last week where it was individual, and here we go. You've been riding the bitch train the whole season and it's getting old and you're getting tired and you do like to cack, you like to keek and you are a shady girl. You're a shady girl, but you're also in this place of, I can't run on these fumes anymore. I'm getting tired of doing this. I just got to sort of just let, let things be. I'm going to say something, girl, but I just can't be. This is why I was never upset with plain Jane. This is why I was never on that fuck her train because I clocked it and saw it from the beginning and i was waiting for it to happen i just knew hell they're gonna be there so long that pressure cooker finally gonna beep and it took a libra to pull an aquarius in honey let me tell you something about those alignments and the stars with the astrology aquarius and libras go together i know because i dated many aquariuses in my longest relationship ever with a partner three years was with an Aquarius. It was a lot. (laughs) It was a lot. (laughs) There were times when we didn't find our planes, but then there were times we were swoo in sync in. I mean, honey, I understand Aquarius is like nobody's business. Okay. So if you're an Aquarius, all my love to you, we mesh for some reason we mesh. Girl, we mesh. <laughs> I don't know why, but we I, I get it. Even when y'all get like popping, I get it. Like I respect the pop. If, if that makes any sense. Every Aquarius that I've dated, whoever had like a little bit of like some viciness with them or like some heat, I got it and I respected it. And it was also a little bit of a turn on. So like no shade. I, my ex could vouch for that because when we got into fights, I was always ready to go afterwards. I was like, okay, can, let's, let's let's go. <laughs> We have to take this out. We got to take this out somewhere else. Now, I'm still a little mad. I want to get this out in another kind of way. (laughs) Anywho. (laughs) Very, that scene in Baby Boy with um, Taraji and like Joe, you know, uh, Tyrese, but kind of less toxic. That, (laughs) very less toxic. (laughs) It's very bad. Less toxic than that. Okay. And Yaz, don't do that. That's some of the best sex is makeup sex. I'm telling you. That's some of the best. Yeah. uh, After an argument, hmm, you feel real good later. Child, you want to go get some food and talk about all the dumb shit you were just arguing about. (laughs) 
<laughs> laughing at our own jokes for each other. Oh, that was a funny little relationship. Because <laughs> we would laugh at our reads later. You know what I mean? <laughs> we would laugh at it like, girl, you <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> I'm thinking of memories right now. <laughs> anyway, I knew they'd be fine. I knew they'd be good. I, I already, I knew there wasn't going to be an issue, but it was interesting to see this happen. But Ro, Ro, listen, I, didn't I say this was going to go down? Y'all can go back to my old videos. Did I not clock this and say, Jane is going to get that villain edit to where we get about halfway through the season. And then all of a sudden we're going to have a different opinion of them. I promise you, it's not just about a villain to us liking them. It also works out for someone being super likable and then being an ass later. Q. Someone that you were feeling before ended up getting on your nerves later on. And you dislike them, but you did like them. Here's the thing about that. That that is called layers for nothing. It's not called layers, but it gives depth for the person as far as us can finding a fault with them, but also seeing the good in them. It's really storyline driven, but it's also good because this makes plain human. Just like Safira making decisions with overthinking things, very Libra thing to do is very human, okay? It's human. Q, popping off, being mad they didn't win. That's, hu that's human. I'm just saying, like, as much as, we, as I can be, like, Q pissed me off today. Plain said this I didn't like. Or Safira went there and we did this. I can also say that, hell, I mean, they are showing us themselves. And for people saying the season is boring, I mean, what is it that is so boring? Is it because the people that you wanted to still be here aren't here? Or is it just you feel that they're reusing challenges and you're tired of that? Now, if that's the answer, I'm with that last one. If you feel because, oh, we feel, oh, Safira is going to win this and I don't want to watch anymore. Honey, we sat through a Sasha, Sasha Colby season. Sasha Colby season. And it was very entertaining. Let's not do that today. Okay. The thing about it is, is that everybody here, whether they are sh a shoe in to win or not, are competing for this crown. And we're watching a show that's edited for consumption, right? But this is not just about that. It's about seeing these individuals out of drag go through these scenarios and situations. And then outside of the show, what we do then by supporting them on the road, in the bar, online, on lives. It matters. Who am I today? What's going on here? I just said I was burned out and I'm over here having these like conversations about love. I guess for me, it's it's really, I like to joke and kiki about these people, but at the end of the day, I respect every bitch on this show. Every single one of them. Respect them. And I want to see them win in some kind of capacity. Because when I see them win, it makes me feel like I can a little bit as a queer black man or a queer individual just in itself if we're not even including color into this conversation. But it's like, oh, okay, well, it, it's possible. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and still in my big age of 37, but yeah, you know. Um, but I I clocked this. This this I knew was going to happen. It's They did the same thing with uh, Diabetti in a sense, where people were pissed off at her for the majority of the season. And then we get to a point where it all makes sense and people start to agree more with her. And then it turns into this, we always loved her. No, you were dragging her in the beginning. Me too. I got it later. It took me a little while to get there. I didn't understand, but yeah, it started to make sense. And all my stuff to die, Betty. <sighs> Did anyone else have All Stars 4 flashbacks when they got to these white walls? <laughs> walls. Mm, I'm about them. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Like, get those flashbacks because I, I, I got them, baby. I was. <laughs> as soon as they showed them, I, I immediately thought of Monet Exchange and Mo Hart and that whole. Uh, why are you painting that way? Aren't you supposed to paint them this way? No, girl, that doesn't make any sense. But no, if you paint it that way, girl, it's going to go on. No, 
like honestly, Mo, Mo it's not going to work that way. No, it makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments from Drag Race because it was a genuine. Are we? Are, huh? Like, I like it's Monet being like, "Girl, do you not know?" <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Who told you that, Jesus? <laughs> Ah, stupid, stupid, stupid. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Miss those days, right? <laughs> oh, God. I hope no one took this to a whole profound level of being like, oh, of course they said this because this was funny to me. Plain Jane talking about, do, do we have to move the things ourselves? And Sophia's like, yeah, girl. Because <laughs> there's not someone to move this for us. Nifia, I'm sorry. Have you not ever worked a day in your life? Have you never done housework a day in your life? Severe says that girl ain't done nothing. Feel those hands. <laughs> if you talk about is is this what it means to be white? I said, wait a minute, Nifia. <laughs> Severe goes the definition of white privilege. I said that's the definition of a mama that will never let her child clean that house or having a maid. Because there are people who live that who have lived that their entire life. Let me tell you something. <laughs> okay. I can't lie here, no shade. When my dad was making a lot of money before like things happened for us and everything changed, we did have a maid, but like my mama made us still clean though. <laughs> Cause my parents came from both of them came from nothing. So like we did have a maid because we had a huge house and that was necessary and needed when we didn't have a, a, a big house like we used to anymore. That changed up. But when we did, it was necessary to have one. However, Deborah, oh no, please. <laughs> Bitch, who is walking out of the room without their bed being made? Who is walking out of the room without the little trash can that's sitting by the door also going out and downstairs so you don't get no bugs in your room? I'm sorry, you can clean the toilet today. Oh yeah. Cause my mama would do checks like that all the time. Like, cause we only like the baby come like once a week. So she's like, y'all are nasty. <laughs> so you, that room needs to be clean consistently all the time. And it was the bed making that was the most important. And then when I went to military Marine military Academy for the summer, that's when I learned to do the, I forget the point, like the five point or the three o'clock corners. I forget what it's called, but then that was implemented into it. So yeah. And then later on down the line in our, teenage years and ch things changed for us and we moved, uh, you know, smaller houses, this, that, and the other, a lot of stuff changed. Uh, we had days where we had to clean together and that music was turned on and it would go where we need to go. So very much that. Learned about it. Hospital corners. There you go, Joyce. Washing clothes was the toughest time for me. I don't know why that was the that was the hardest thing for me to learn how to do. I did not, I know, oh, bitch, that took me a minute. <laughs> It was like I never did it right. And then I would overload the machine often. That was my issue. I would stuff that mother. My mama hated it. Matthew, please. I broke two washing machines as a kid. She's like, what is wrong with you? Why would you put it? Matthew. That was it. Matthew. Matthew. What, what sense does it make, son, to have the clothes coming out of the top and it not closing, son? Okay? So the water pours. That'll be her. That water pours on it, right? All right, then. You see how heavy that is? Take all that out. <laughs> Vacuuming was fun for me. I kind of like vacuuming because I like to run around the house with it or whatever. I don't like vacuuming as an adult right now. I hate vacuuming, but I'd have to because these cats and the litter and all that. Ugh, girl, wear me out. But uh, I thought this was a little funny moment. I uh, hope no one took this to a level where it didn't need to be. I don't think anyone raised a stink on the show and they clearly left this in with the edit. So, yeah. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Definitely had to learn. But listen, everyone had different ideas for what they wanted to do with their bathrooms. Uh, Q and Morphine wanted to go to hell. And this scene was funny. Q, now you had me here. When you turned that corner and saw the color that Nymphia and Don were using, your face was gagged. Literally, like, 
That's the color. That's the color. Oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> meanwhile, y'all are painting your bathroom like it's supposed to be, uh, you know, a artistic wall for someone's summer camp you know this is supposed to be the fire and shit i was like girl anywho <laughs> what is y'all talking about vibe uk thank you so much for the first super chat of the day appreciate you babes i love cleaning i'm a bit of a clean freak but i despise ironing just so boring mind numbing erg um i feel that way about folding clothes right now i have to find something I like dump all my clothes on the bed. I have to find something on TV. It's the only way I'm going to fold. I need something playing, something happening, because it's going to be just monotonous. And as someone who used to work in retail, oh, folding a lot. <laughs> it's taken. But thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate you, babes. And this is a reminder. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. 345 of you here. Drop a tippy poo in my jar. PayPal.me for slash my rants. Cash up my rants. And Vimo money dash rants. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you, babes. Uh, this was a lot. I also hated this color, too. I hated this color. I hate this color so much. Ew. Looks like a urine sample. Like, I, I just don't, I don't like it. Homo Genie, thank you for the super chat. Which is stay, but as the Aries I am today, my birthday, I got plans. <gasps> but much love to y'all. Can't wait for the playback. It is Aries season. I have multiple birthdays in my family. Happy birthday to you, Homo Genic. Everyone make sure to send a happy birthday in the live chat to Homo Genic. I hope you have a good birthday, a great day. Eat lots of food or go have fun, whatever you're about to do. Happy birthday to you, babes. Appreciate you. And thank you for the super chat. Whew, I gotta take a breath. My stomach is stomaching. Sorry. Um, I've started lower ab workouts recently and <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> it is the hardest thing I've ever had to do because there's this new lower ab workout where you gotta push up your lower back and buttocks and it pushes up and it's all like core here. Oh, I feel it. I feel it in my tummy. Well, morphine talked about poop and having a poop story. I felt seen here. <laughs> the Mativia was all over today. I'm telling you. I was like, wow. <laughs> ah, I don't think I've ever had like a situation like jumping into a split and it being like a suspicious fart that comes out. Um, not going to give any stories away because that's not anybody's business, but I'm sure folks have had accidents or we almost made it there. But like, I was like, oh God. <laughs> this isn't as bad as, you know, the cis story though. Not No shade. This isn't as bad. This isn't as bad because that was taken to the runway and I couldn't walk because I had a, you know, boil between in my gooch. But, uh, I don't know if I would have uh, shared this. I would have just sat there, but like, Morphina. <laughs> she's talking like, she's literally talking about, you know, pooping or having a, you know, a slip and slide of gas come out. And it looks like Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo, just gave her a hug on her face. She might as well be Kyle from South Park. I was going to work a South Park joke into this episode. You know I had to. Also, five times a day. I said, oh, sister, are you, hold on. <laughs> I know you were exaggerating. We need to talk if it's five times a day. Because, um, it shouldn't be five times a day. Maybe twice, but I don't know about five times a day. Like morning and night, I can see, you know. But five? Also, you have Activia in your, like, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you're going to eat some of that, yeah, you're going to you gonna go. It's, it's, it's got them uh, probiotics going. 
all up in there. Mm -hmm. But five. No, if she's eating dairy, I doubt she's do five times a day. No, she'd be clogged. Okay. Ain't no way. Metamucil must be on standby in that household. My goodness. She said, I am a bottom. I will be open and ready to go at all. She knows her body. That's why it's five times a day. All right, moving forward. Whew. It was time for Safira to clock Q because she was sitting on that you didn't deserve for a little too long and mama got away without getting the full work from her, okay? So when she said, Q, what's tea? And Q kind of got a little sassy back and I said, oh, girl, no, we're, we need to get on this because you did say she didn't deserve it. And it was the way it was worded that was kind of like... Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? I thought we was cool like that. And I respect you and I love you. And you basically just shat on me taking this win. Like, they're already... It, and to think about it, the fandom and people that don't like her that are watching this show are already going to do that. And you validated those feelings by then expressing that the way that you did with your sour face and the tone that you had for that. You validated all those people. And she love you and you know better than that, girl. She wouldn't do you like that. Like, so what's going on? I appreciate you eventually because it did take a second because she, and you can, Matt, you just don't like, fuck all that. I think Q's cool. I like you. But I thought this was bullshit here the first time. Q, Safira had to pull it out of her. Because when she said it the first time, Q was like, no, nah, I didn't say it like, yes, you did though. And she had to pull you back in. It's the way you said it with your tone. While you may feel that way, the way you did it wasn't cool. And it took her a little, it took her more than one time in this moment to say that. And I was like, wow. So I don't know if Q just didn't receive it or she like let it go and didn't think that, you know, it hit Safira that hard, but she received it. It was done. We won't, I, I just don't feel like this will be the last of that. I'm sorry. And it may not be Safira that that happens to next. It may be like someone else that she's going, I don't understand. I, I just have a feeling. <laughs> and I hope that's not the case though, because Q is a brilliant mind, especially when it comes to presenting a look uh, or conveying a message through their art in their garments, except for this week. Except for this week. Except for this week. I think it'll happen again <laughs> is where I'm at. <laughs> I feel like it's going to happen again. I love uh, that. God bless her head. Go ahead. All right. This was the moment. This was the shift in the temperature. This was the, you wanted the, the feels. You wanted her to have a moment. She already gave a lot this season because Plains also had moments of being vulnerable and talking, but this was the most relatable one in my opinion. But I could, uh, for me, this was, uh, this was the most relatable for me because of what I'm going through right now, currently prior to my trip even with how I feel about my channel, reading negative comments, this, that, and the other. This, I can relate to. Those voices in your head, the negative thoughts being the loudest, the doubt that sits in your spirit when, honestly, you may have it all together, but, like, you question your worth. You, quest you question that. You question your power. And then it turns into almost like, instead of it being your sword, it becomes your hindrance. It becomes the thing that's against you. And so what happened was, is that Safira and her were talking and they were going over the scene like, okay, do you feel confident about what we're going to do? And Jane is talking about it, but she's sort of like not giving her normal answers and Safira can receive this is not how you normally are what's going on dawn's there for this moment too mind you dawn and jane were literally drag like dragging each other last week this is why i can't take people seriously on the internet that want to turn small situations and uh 
moments that are fights that don't really last forever into forever moments, right? Jane just broke down and just said, I, sometime that I don't think I'm good enough bit really hits and that I do hold this facade that I got all together, but I don't. And I do overthink these things. And I am the one that, you know, all that kind of jazz and this, that, and the other. And I can relate to that. I really could. This that I this is me currently right now in my headspace. Even reading some of your comments right now, even some of the stuff that I see today, not a tip drop the roof. You know what I mean? Like that stuff sits with me and I go, am I doing this right? Is this a good day? Maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe they're tired of this and that and the other. And it turns into this whirlwind of just overthinking and taking it out, right? It gets tiring playing a role sometimes or or having that, you know, facade, you know, like someone said, imposter syndrome or this, that, and the other. I don't think it's an imposter syndrome. I think it's, well, maybe that, maybe it was a, we played this a little too long. And now that we got here and I want to be open about my thoughts, um, it's not happening. It's, it's not, it's not coming together. Like the way it is, like I want it to. And I don't know. I, I received this moment from Jane, but I think what really touched me was how Safira clocked in as usual, which I, again, I, the malice in the, I don't like her that comes for Safira. I don't, I don't receive it. I don't see how y'all cannot enjoy her. I really don't. I don't, I don't receive it. I'm like, oof, something about that is weird for me i don't like it <laughs> um it's it's giving coded but i don't want to go there because that's not okay but i'm also like mm, weird she's like write down everything that you feel on this you know piece of paper okay write it down now you saw jane literally ball it up and ready to throw it and she's like mm, read it out loud Read it out loud. Let's get it out. Like, you got to say it. This is almost like what I think Safira wanted Q to do in that moment of just say how you really feel, but like also hear what I'm saying in that same moment. Don't backpedal on what you said, but like do this. Like just be open. Like talk about it. She said what she was feeling. She made her tear it up. And then they threw it away. And I thought that was beautiful. That's also a technique in therapy that I have done with my therapist before too. So I felt like Safira is coming from a place of, while she may have her own flaws right now, and you may not like the perfection that comes from Safira because she kind of gives that a little bit. Uh, it feels like Safira has done work on herself. <laughs> and I feel like that work was, was very much translated or at least it was conveyed in this moment for Jay, it, it was very much, you know, um, what's we're looking for? Uh, like a pass it on uh, moment, pay it for paying it forward. There we go. Paying it forward through her own therapy or her own healing, whoever she's worked with in that kind of moment. And someone did that with Safira and she paid that forward to plain Jane in that moment. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. I like it. I thought that was really honest and cool. It didn't feel like it was fake. Because I hate when they sort of do moments like this and it seems fake. This this felt real. So I liked it. The judges. Da, 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 da. We're going to do the judges first. Then we're going to talk about the challenge itself. And then we'll do the runway here. Okay. Um, is it bad? I don't know who the guest judge is. I kind of don't know the guest judge. Also, I saw someone mention the Megan the Stallion concert. She added an Atlanta date, but the Houston show is already sold out. So for those of you who are like, Matt, are you going to go? No, it's already sold out. George Lopez's daughter?
there's been a lot of daughters of on this particular season. Because wasn't Cindy Crawford's daughter also on this season as well? Hold on. I feel like there's someone else that's also a child of that was not just those two. Ha. Huh. A yesified Cheeto. Ah! Stop it. <laughs> not a yesified. <sighs> Lopez verse. I have to look her up real quick. I thought she was adorable. Lopez, I didn't even know that's a show. It's a real show. It's a real show. I typed her name in and 90 other profiles came up that weren't her. That's crazy. Hold on. Let me look at her TV shows. That's it? That's it? One show? That's it? That's it? Uh-uh. Something else, right? Dad's George. Okay, Dad's George Lopez. Lopez versus Lopez. Is it still on? I just want to know. God, why is that Kim Petra song in my fucking head right now? In case you're wondering, it's uh, Gag It Up and Heart to Break. I don't know why, but her music's been very playing through my head lately. I don't know what's going on. Ah, I will watch an episode. Because I kind of, I guilty watched the George Lopez show. Not when it was on air, but the Nick at Night days, like the newer Nick at Night. Yeah, I kind of, I don't know why. Some of the George Lopez show was funny. So, <laughs> some of it was funny. Some of it was funny now. Some of it was funny. Yeah, so I, I'll, I will keep my answer. <laughs> some of it was funny. Yeah, I did like the George Lopez show a little bit. Um, it was kind of funny, but I don't know. Yeah, interesting, interesting. I also thought the uh, theme music was iconic. Oh my life, living in All right, Michelle. Okay, I see you giving a little peekaboo action over here. The hair is right. RuPaul, y'all are liking this. I'm going to tell you why I don't. <laughs> I hate this orange pant with this dress so bad just so she could wear those boots and i hate it i love her hair i love the makeup i love the dress i hate the pant and i hate the boot hate that part of it all this right here no this dress though Fabulous. This wig, everything. The makeup, da dun dun. Everything else? Mm. Carson, are you okay? You want to talk about it? <laughs> Why does Carson look like that? Did you know we were taking a photo? What's going on? Say cheese. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, they caught Carson off. He, mm -mm. Visage indeed. Go ahead, Michelle. Michael Visage. Ooh, I cannot wait to talk about that roast on Monday for UK versus the World 2. Hannah, Donda, if you want some, hun, and tea and coffee, eight. But tea and coffee ate that roast up. I cannot wait to talk about that Monday. I was gagged. I was like, oh, tea is funny, funny, funny. I think because everybody else was really bad, but like, like Hannah was funny because like she laughing at her own jokes at the same time saying them also made it even funnier. And she looked like someone at a wedding. But then when Tia got up and oh, I was so impressed. I was like, oh my God, they are eating this up. Everybody, well, actually, to be fair, Marina also was pretty good too. Um, 
She's white and pretty. She's white and pretty. She's just white. <laughs> if I said it, y'all would call me a racist. Marina says it. Y'all love her. It's fine, right? <laughs> no, I don't want to do all that, but y'all know how it is. People play favorites. Keek. <laughs> the joke was funny. I thought Marina's was funny. Her pacing was off. Anywho, sorry. <laughs> well, Amy, you watch it now. <laughs> But no, that was it. I just, I, I am going to say that was funny, but there are no spoilers. You have to watch the entire roast itself. You got to watch the roast. You got to watch the roast. It was. You have to watch the roast. <laughs> okay, dip out, Amy, dip out. We're going to get back to the episode though. Um, but I do love what these people are giving today. Honestly. I do love it. Uh, it was a nice look from Rue. Just don't like the pant and the shoe. Um, Michelle, a little peekaboo. Mayan Lopez looks like they're like George Lopez dressed her. No shade. Carson. Yeah, I like all this from Rue. Why do I get Stargate tees from this random, random earring that's been stuck to her chest? Why is this giving Stargate? Or possibly she's going to transform into a Sailor Scout later, or a, I should say an outer senshi. Very that, yeah, girl. But maybe that's an old reference. Is Stargate an old reference? That might be an old reference. That's an old reference. It is. <laughs> However, uh, whatever uh, portal that, you know, tunnels to, God bless her, you know, or possible different dimension. For those of you who watch Stargate, you know who I'm talking about. And it was the forehead, not the chest. But, you know, that literally gives that for me. It's like, girl, what's about to happen? <laughs> A little bit of an older reference, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Shout out to my Fox watchers back in the day uh, for the Stargate days. That was on the weekends is when we got Stargate. X-Files, and then what was the other one? Firefly. Those were my Fox favorite shows I used to watch back in the day that were like science fiction-y. Those were the three. Mm -hmm. I also watched 24 as well. I can't believe I watched 24. Never got into prison break though. Wasn't my show. The guy on there was hot. I just never got the show. Universal Butterfly this season or just in reference? Can Q style her? Oh, okay. No, you asked this question in installments. Hold on. Let me make sure. Can Q style her? Uh, what do you think? Maddie, there are so many talented contestants with taste and sewing skills. Okay, ooh, so this is about the Zaldi. We've had them forever. We've changed makeup artists and wig style. Like we've we've changed the wig person. We've changed the makeup artist. It's been the same designer for quite some time. Not a bad question. That's up to Rue and what Rue wants to do in the relationship they have with the designer. And it's not to shade Zaldi because Zaldi's had some incredible. Incredible, incredible pieces. I also have seen stuff where I'm like, did he make that? Are you sure? Do they know they made that? I don't think they made that. Couldn't be. I think so. I think it would be cool to see some looks that maybe previous contestants who we know are excellent seamstresses could make for Rue uh, that think that, that have a vision for her. But yeah, snappy one right here, right here, baby. Rue is very specific in what she wants. And Delta did spill that tea. Shout out to Delta. Delta is a very nice, very nice woman. Very nice queen. All right. Well, Amy, we're not talking about it now. You are safe for the rest of the live chat. Let's get into the challenge itself. 356 of you here. Like button, share, and subscribe. We're going to close this poll that I had earlier in the video because we have a lot of votes already in this piece. <sighs> Hold on. Can I grab something real quick, y'all? I feel my tummy doing the...
Maddie, you haven't eaten right now and I'm about to flip and you're going to feel sick. Give me a second. I need to grab something because I haven't eaten today. Hold on real quick. I'm taking my diet too seriously. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just, I know I, I I can feel the lightheadedness hit me and it's like, Maddie, you're focused. This is literally why I told y'all I need to take a break and this vacation needs to come sooner than later. Hold on. And to show, this is part of my diet because I don't eat like bread and stuff like that. So it's high in protein. So I get like peanuts from Kroger's and I get the lightly salted ones so it's not high in sodium so my blood pressure won't go up. So yeah peanuts or any kind of nuts that are like you know nothing that's crazy nothing that's sugar coated or anything else like that Y'all don't understand. I like did this, like I'm yay, but then I realized I'm chewing nuts and I did no ma'am. I was like, oh my god, no. Mmm. <laughs> Dried fruits, Joel. I will try that. Because I miss fruits, but I'm nervous about the sugar in like the natural sugar in the fruits too. So I'm very, very, you know, particular about it. Mm-hmm. Bernie, how are you doing, baby? The Reddit crowd mad because Carson and Michelle did German accents, citing that they called Nymphia out last week for her. I have to mute and eat a few nuts on that one. I'm sorry. That kind of cacked me. Okay, I'm sorry. That that was funny to me. They said, what? <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's kind of hilarious. Like, wait a minute. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Okay, I mean, were they, were they good German accents? I mean, if Quentin Tarantino was casting, yes. This was like what the LGBTQIA plus version of Inglorious Bastards, but all focused on gender inclusive bathrooms. Mahalia, I wasn't even thinking about it. Cause like, just like last week, honey, I, that's not for me. Nymphia's accent, what she's doing, that's not for me. I'm not laughing at it because she's doing an accent that I think is funny. I'm not even thinking of it that way. I'm just hearing her use a different tone so she can convey the character that she's trying to present. I know maybe a few years ago, Mad TV, uh, the voice of Lois Griffin playing an Asian woman at a nail salon, Miss fucking Swan, would be a completely different story today. Completely different story today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now that I think about it. Oh my God. Like. Ah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That was a whole South Park episode. I mean, the guy who runs City Walk is a white man. Y did y'all not know that in South Park? That's a whole episode. Spoiler alert. That's a white man that has a multiple personality disorder. That whole episode with uh, Detective Butters, which that shit was 
funny. <laughs> Remember how you found out you find out the guy who's been running City Walk and they do that horrible accent was what girl? I was like, this is too much. But they didn't want to get rid of him, even though they found out he was a liar and he was causing the town problems because they the, the man who he was in competition with ended up doing what he did that was Japanese. And they were like, well, we can't lose the only Asian restaurant. <laughs> So we're just going to let him keep her thinking that he's Mr. Swan. That was horrible. Horrible, horrible episode. <laughs> That's a horrible episode. God, that is the only show I can watch like that with the satirical references, the way it's so much that. I, it's the only show I can't take seriously at all. We got some super chats up in this piece. Thank you so very much. I appreciate your baby and some tippy poos. Jumanji. No. Jamunji. Jumanji. Jumanji. Oh my God. It was the first time I said it that was completely wrong for me. Not going to lie. I skipped past Jane's little moment, but kudos for her for spilling. Well, damn. <laughs> Thank you for the super <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, damn, but thank you for the super chat. Um, okay. All right. Vibe UK 2003, uh, RuPaul's nepotism. <laughs> I mean, it's been the show's been on so long, we're going to see kids of people at this point, right? Crash, thank you for the super chat. Hey, friend. Hey, Maddie. Uh, you've been keeping me laughing the past... Uh, the, uh, the last few days when I've really needed all my best to you and your fur kids and have fun in Miami. Thank you so much, Crash. I appreciate you, love. I am going to be a wreck when I get on this plane and I leave these cats. And I know Bleaker will be fine, but like, that is going to be weird not waking up with my babies every morning. Ugh. I wake up with them every morning. DW, thank you for the tippy poo on Cash. I appreciate you, babes. Thank you for the content. Sorry, I had to take a deep breath there, girl. I told you I'm out of it. Um, Misha or Mit uh, Mitia or Atia? Mitia? Mitia for? I feel like I always mess that up. I feel like we've already discussed this too. Yep, the battery's dead. <laughs> not, me tell not me talking about my battery. The battery's dead. Jesus Christ, give me a break. I see the heart and I heart. I send my heart back to you. I know who you are in my chat, my love. Thank you so much. Please forgive me, baby. I'm so sorry. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Do, 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 do. Oh, woman too. All right, let's talk about the naughty potty first. Thank God I'm not in Miami today. Okay, I'm going to do the polls for this. I want to do the polls for this. I'm just going to give you, well, no, 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 no. You should, you deserve three. This, we always need threes here. I'm a, I'm a Libra. You need at least three. Now, I'm going to do the name of what is the concept. And you need to, it, and it's just going to be like the runway. Except, you know, um, I'll give these options. Giving, meh, and chop. We, we, she's cute, we'll do for looks. But meh is going to be like, oh, that's all right. Like, oh, girl, whatever the case may be. But let's just give it there. Can I be real? I thought this was sort of lazy. And, oh, I want to take that back. I don't like how that sounded. And I felt it was disrespectful. And I don't want to say that Q and morphine are lazy. I want to reword that. Kind of want to keep lazy. This was a little too easy for me. We're going to hell in the bathroom. So it's going to be a little like this. It's going to be a little this, but not that. It's going to be almost there. Like, okay. Because we're in hell. It felt like I was watching a Saturday Night Live skit. And all the good actors weren't in the skit. I almost feel like Q is stuck on that SNL skit. I hate that I'm saying this because I like both of these queens, but it felt like I was, it just felt like the same shit I've already seen 
them do. And it was, I, I, cause we're in hell. Ah, like, like what? Lucy, the third, Lucy, the third, or hold on. I need, uh, Hold on, I thought I responded to that. Hold on a second, yo. I didn't respond to this. Hold on. My auntie. Oh! Auntie, Auntie Joyce, thank you. This is from last week, baby. That's probably why I completely, and this was for the edited video. I'm I'm normally used to doing my thank yous live here. Thank you, baby. I, I, I'm noticing it now in my Venmo. I appreciate you, love. I appreciate it for the edited video. Thank you, baby. I thank you so much. I missed a couple. Why is everything now coming through? Mm, Apple, I am not upgrading my phone. Y'all have gooped me for the last time. I am waiting for this whatever new number is coming out. Shit's been running slow. Everything's been giving me... Did it update? Hold on, because I was supposed to update my phone last night. Hold on, y'all. I have to check, because I don't like that. It did update. The why is it... I'm not updating my phone. I don't want to. I am. I have one more payment. I do not want to update my phone. I'm tired of a high phone bill. I'm tired of it. Yeah, no, I'm not want to say lazy. It just felt like, okay, girl, like, you know, like we, we could have seen this coming. This feels like one of those Adult Swim episodes or, or those cartoons that are 15 minutes long. And it's not really funny unless you're super high. Like, I don't know. There are spikes on the toilet seat. Hey, 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 welcome to the live for those of you who are tuning in just now. I, yeah, this wasn't my favorite for me. It was. I felt like, I don't know, it just, I, I wasn't entertained. Then the voices, the, it was like they were morphing. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Everything felt like an improv bit for almost all of the groups, except for Safira and Plain J. Theirs was very in sync. Morphine, did you forget half the things that you were supposed to say? At one part, you were like, I forgot. And then Q picked it up. I was like, what? Did they let them reshoot this or was this all in one take? Like, what? It happened several times. Then it was like Q was talking in a different accent. Like she was from Boston. And then she moved to Los Angeles halfway through. Like she picked up Morphine's Valley Girl accent. I was like, what's going on today? It, was, it got weird. <laughs> it got weird. It got weird. Uh, I, I think my favorite part of their, you know, bathroom bit here was the way that Michelle had to sit in the wall for the toilet. I thought that was ridiculous with the toilet paper being that high up uh, on top of what possibly looked like a CGI imaged penis placed on this man. Okay. Because... Oh, you think I was going to get in trouble for showing that? I don't think so. <laughs> Were you excited from the tickling, sir? Is my first question. My second question is, why was that shape that way in that placement of the pain? You would have thought there was a cage on it or something, the way it looked, like a bigger one than what it was necessary or needed. Not saying he ain't got a big pain, because it's possible. It's possible. You say a sock, I say a sock in a cage. I was getting gay for pay tees because... You know how they always do those videos talking about 
hey, Brian, Tim, James, or whatever. And then, like, you don't see it ever rise up, but they're, they're playing with it and all that kind of stuff, looking all stupid. Yeah, I'm getting, oh, you're making me, but you're not, but nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Uh, nothing's happening. Oh. It's a muscle worship video, but nothing's happening. Oh. There's just this random, weird looking, nasty looking thing down there rubbing on you, and you, yeah, yeah nothing's happening. That's Todrick Hall's ex? Huh. So he was topping. Or versiting. Shout out to my burst girls out there. I wish it could be me. I tried. It couldn't be me. Good for him. Good for him. Hmm. Okay. What if he still lives in the house like all the big brother people do? All right, moving forward. <sighs> Sorry, I, I don't care. I ate that last segment up. Y'all can y'all can go on somewhere. It was it was both informative and gross. It was both informative and gross. I will accept Dion as the middle name. That has to be for a certain personality type that I do. Why plasma? Why not? If the face can fit. Hey, it's been too long since I've done this, and I think it's about time that I did. Disclaimer, this program's for entertainment purposes only and content signs intended to blinding the religion, race, gender, company, individual cages, or wigs. You know? Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got nuts in my tummy and I feel like eating more these nuts. Thanks, YouTube. That was pretty, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bow, I bow. <laughs> Anywho. This actually had potential to be very good. Not gonna lie. It's a lot of dad jokes today, huh? <laughs> no, but seriously. This had so much potential. The bathroom actually didn't look bad once we saw it. I still wouldn't do that color, like, at all. Um, it was there. What was the problem? God, I would have wanted to be Nymphia in this moment. Uh, but what was the problem? What we got here, here is the issue. I swear to God, this was Fred Armisen and Kristen Wiig in those weekly update, uh, weekend update reports. Normally I put the, uh, oh my God, did I, did I, 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 I forgot about the polls. I'm so used to just talking. Hold on, we had to close the poll now, put something over the hole. We, I'm really pushing the lines here. Um, naughty potty, 52% of y'all said meh, 38% of y'all chopped it, and 8% of y'all are giving. Hold on, let's get back to this. Don was a little too submissive for my taste when it came to this part, and I feel they were improving it down. They uh, had ideas and they were workshopping it, and then once they got there, it was out the window, and it was like, okay, let's just go, just do something, just do something, just do something. Hold on, Matt and Chuck. Nymphia kind of overtalked and Dawn got a little too passive for me. I really I, I was sad for Dawn because to be honest, this was not a bad bathroom. It really wasn't. But Nymphia was in her full glory of I know exactly what I'm doing here. And Dawn gave me an assistant tease. Better yet, if this was Steven Universe, do you know where I'm going with this? Yes. Nymphia would be a, a, a gem and Don would be a pearl. <sighs> Shout out to Rebecca Sugar. Yep, I went there. I did it. I did it. I did it. I 
It was great. Yes, thank you. I know, I know. Perfect reference. Perfect reference. Dawn is a pearl. Nymphy is a gem. Down. Down. <laughs> it's over, isn't it? I mean, honestly, Dawn could have sang that song on the way out the door. It's over, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it over? Oh, I love that song. But why can I move on? Oh my God, I love that song so much. I cried like such a baby. <laughs> please, y'all, please tell me you remember that episode if you watched uh, CV Universe. That was such a sad one. Ooh. The constant battle with Greg and Pearl over like pink and like all the flashback stories that would happen. I'm like, this shit's really deep, y'all. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, Pearl was my favorite on the show and people didn't understand that. I said, Pearl went through hell. Pearl went through hell. As much as I live for Garnet being the, the, uh, the, the fusion of two people that love each other and that's so amazing. Woo, Pearl had layers, honey. Pearl was wrong. Pearl was right. Pearl was wrong and right all the time. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, that was my girl. Like, I love Pearl. Loved her. Loved her, loved her, loved her. Such a good show. I'm so glad I saw the future episodes too. I had stayed away from it, y'all. I highly recommend it. The future episodes were pretty good too. Not as good as the original one. Rose was an asshole. We can have that conversation. Rose was a selfish, selfish woman. Uh-huh. Yep. I said it. Selfish as hell. Brought everybody in her bullshit. Did. Ooh, Aniki. I promise you, if you want a queer cartoon to watch that's very feel good, but it's also going to make you go, oh, some of the action scenes are cool. And then there are going to be emotional moments too that take you to that level. Friend, you know how I am. You need to watch the show. It's, I highly recommend that cartoon, especially for my queer, my queer folks. Highly recommend it. It is very good. Very well written. Good ending too. I like the ender. The songs too. Yes, Monty, talk about the songs. The songs are great. Okay, I have never liked a ukulele more in my life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very that. Crash, thank you for the tippy pool on Cash App. For you, um, you are out of pocket today. Here's your tip. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Pornhub is banned in Texas, by the way, as I'm looking at two balloons for breast on Nymphia. That's a fact. It's banned. I miss it so much. <laughs> just, girl, listen. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I, 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 I never had the just for, I never did that. So I never knew about those things. But like, that's crazy. There's a whole letter in North Carolina. What? There is an entire thing that pops up. It is the, when you read it too, it's like, Oh, that's what this is about? <laughs> <laughs> You'll do, I swear to God. Like, type it in Twitter. Some people posted it. Baby, when you read the whole thing, it's like, ooh. 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 <laughs> ooh. Okay. Well, I can understand. So, yeah. <laughs> Talk about logging to your creator account. Uh, no. <laughs> This was one of the reasons why I felt Nymphia and Dawn had the best bathroom. It definitely does not work. Well, I mean, so I'm in Houston and it definitely doesn't work. So what's the difference? I don't know. I showed you mine. <laughs> I showed you my message. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. You get, you get a nice little nasty, hey, thanks for stopping by. 
Oh, it's not that deep. I mean, there are other places to go too now, but I'm just saying there was a lot of great content on there and now it's no longer. So sorry to those creators that were expecting a little bit of a bump in their, you know, money for traffic coming in. But I can only imagine that does affect those people too. Ooh, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Wouldn't that affect a lot of people's money? If they're like messing with the traffic that's coming in? Because they get paid for stuff like that when people click on the video, just like I do. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that is scary. Because that could come to YouTube. Ooh. Sorry, my mind went into 20 different spaces because if you think about it, especially with how sometimes the platform can be when like people are doing like videos like on Pokemon and you see those channels get like banned because they think it's like adult, but it's not. And it's for kids and it goes down this like thin line of what's okay and what's not. <sighs> what if it gets to that point later on? We, we got to get out of that thought. We got to talk about the show, but I'm that just, wow. Huh. I feel like we, I really hope we don't get hands made tail tees. I really hope we don't go there. It's starting to feel like it, but I hope we don't go there. Wait, so the way you can only access it is by creating an account, but that's the whole, like, why would you want to create an account if you're not, I don't, why would you, I'm not creating an account. Like, what are you creating an account for? Like, what? <laughs> uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's just a little bookmark passed by and go. <laughs> Anywho. Back to this though, it was a good concept. It was, it, it, it was a good concept. I think Nymphia didn't pick up on the vibe that they were talking too much and they were overpowering this moment. It doesn't work. Oh, okay, DW, all right. Just someone gassing me up in the chat, got you. But Dawn kind of let her steam. And then when Dawn was in like inputting anything, it just didn't come out. Twitter is kind of weird, though. Um, I don't know. I There's this one person on Twitter I want to talk about who I'm like, girl, you post more on here than you do on your other stuff, and that don't make no damn sense. Anywho. Yeah, this, this could have been good. Could have been. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta I gotta blame Nymphia for this one. I think Nymphia kind of jumped in and didn't realize it was a team challenge. And Dawn got a little too submissive in this moment and sat in the back and, and it didn't really add to this. But yeah, uh, I think that's what kind of happened. Dawn kind of played back and Nymphia played too forward. One was going too hard, one was doing not enough. Even though the bathroom's not bad. I actually thought this bathroom's not a bad bathroom. I kind of was. There are wheels on the toilet, so where does the poo go? <laughs> when they said tantric, I was like, girl. <laughs> I'm so mad at this. I'm sorry. I'm not holding hands with you across from commodes. I'm not. I'm just not doing it. I don't know what part of our relationship we would be in, but we're not holding hands across commodes. Boo -boo. Oh, my goodness. Stupid. <laughs> See, it had some stuff. It had good ideas. It just, it didn't go there. All right, let's 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 wrap that up. Let's wrap that up. Let's wrap it up. And let's get on over to the bootlickers speak easy. 66% of y'all said meh for the fart museum. 22% of you chopped it and giving us on the 11 percentile. I'm going to mute myself while I chew on some nuts uh, and give y'all the poll for the bootlickers speak easy.
I'm sorry, that was funny. Ah, <laughs> that was funny, baby. I was trying to chew at the same time. That wasn't cute. You tried to, you really tried to take me out. You were trying to take me out of. Whoa, whoa, that was funny. Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness! And I saw the hearts and the emojis. I appreciate y'all for hitting uh, those emojis, these little hearts and stuff like that. It's really fun to see. I go back and forth between the two so I can see how y'all are posting on the other. Um, end of it but almost 400 of y'all here a little under that and that's cool too hit the like button share and subscribe we're talking about rupaul's drag race family nope i've blended a whole lot together there let's try that again <laughs> we're talking about rupaul's drag race season 16 episode 12. <laughs> thanks for being here hit the like button share and subscribe and become part of this rant pack family See, I blended. Yeah. Uh, if you want to drop a tippy poo in my jar, help this burn out. Uh, PayPal.me for slash better rants, catch up, does my better rants, nice rants. Anything and everything is appreciated. It goes towards cat food, goes towards bills, goes towards this trip coming up. Uh, it's all very appreciated. Not necessary for participation. We're at 400 now. Boo, 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 boo. Hit the like button, please. Uh, but I thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> help help i'm i'm very much gonna relax after this and watch a show on netflix called what is it the 100 they have season two just came out i am so ready i'm so hyped i want to order some food i want to lay down i want to just be in my bed and put on that show where i could see all those muscly skis just go in I just, oh, I'm so excited. I like the first season. First season was great. Yeah, Physical 100. That first season was that girl. I was not prepared to like that show the way I was going to. It's so good for multiple reasons. Multiple. Multiple reasons. I'd be like looking at my future like partners on that show. Like, oh, I'm marrying that one. Oh, I'm marrying this one. Oh, that's going to be the one. And then I'm also rooting for people who I want to win that I have no sort of like, I want to marry them or do that with, but like, I still respect like the person and the people there. Oh, I'm so hyped. I have not seen one episode yet of season two. And I'm going to watch that tonight. I haven't watched that. This is also on my watch list tonight. I'm watching X-Men 97 and Physical uh, 100 Season 2. Those are my two tonight. Those are my two tonight. I'm very hype, 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 hype. I'm very hyped to see it. I'm so happy. Because I liked the first season. So I was like, holy shit, this season. I didn't think it was going to get Season 2. I was so happy. <laughs> oh, I can't. A Christmas Story is my favorite Christmas movie, and it's the only movie I will play during the Christmas holiday on Christmas Day, and it gets played consistently. All right, so where are y'all at with the poll? Because we're going to talk about this now. 87% of y'all said giving, 12% of you said meh, and 1% of you chopped this. Okay, choices. Chris really liked it, and, you know, I don't know, the animation was kind of throwing me off a tad bit. But I heard they're taking a different approach, and I respect that with the X Men '97. So, yeah, I'm gonna see it. I'm just glad I saw the one clip of Storm and Cyclops using their powers appropriately, and I have hope for X Men as a live action franchise now that that happened. Because, whew, they have to like basically fix everything that Brian Singer destroyed, and that other director and the other directors after that. They just they have to just do better. Everything that Fox destroyed. This was funny for a lot of reasons, but it was really funny because Jane and Safira have chemistry and it's natural. Yep. This did not feel like how it felt for me last week with that presentation. Both challenges I didn't care for. Both of them didn't care for. Be real with you. No, this challenge I thought was stupid, like they're making a bathroom. But it's also important because gender inclusiveness, it, especially when it comes to the LGBTQIA plus community, very important, right? 
and how it's been a hot topic and a hot debate and a dangerous one for that in the States alone. Okay. I get it, but I just, eh. this felt funner. It felt easier to do. It didn't feel like a labor of effort when it came to what they were given, because here's the thing. We know that plain Jane has this like, slutty kind of shtick, but it felt like it was toned down and it was even more palpable than usual with plain Jane. Like she did play an idiot, but she played one that made like a lot more sense or an idiot that actually was intelligent versus one that just sounds stupid, if that makes any sense. Like, oh, yeah, I, I'll keep that. It did. She, Because sometimes when they play stupid, I'm always like, okay, it's just dumb, dumb. But, you know, there's always the ones on the shows who are kind of stupid, but they're actually extremely intelligent or very aware of what's going on. I felt like that was Jane's character more so. And she played with Safira very well, who Safira was giving you this, you know, um, I don't want to say mama matron, but like high key, lightly salted version of that. You know what I'm saying? A subtle idiot. Yeah, Captain Soleil, I like that. A subtle idiot. Uh-huh. And Safira was playing the performer dancer there, but she's also given very a jazz. Little, this, that. I just liked how this went down. It felt funny. It felt good. Michelle and Carson could play with them. This one was also a bathroom. A real one <laughs> to me. <laughs> It was. Everyone in the bathroom was like, girl, you got wheels on this toilet. You have the hole on the wall. Like, uh-uh, baby. No, this one actually was two, it was two stalls next to each other, but there was a hole and it was realistic. Yeah, and but it was played up. I just, ah, I liked it. I liked it. I did, I'm very impressed. I think it was the banter in between also that was better than the other queens, but this bit was funny too. Okay, I, I have to talk about this because please tell me y'all watch this scene back. You have to watch them do the scene back. They, I don't know if Safira and Plain Jane know it, but y'all ate this up. This part was funny alone. And Michelle, you're an idiot for this. They have to say the past. Where remember, it's a speakeasy. So all of this is like prohibition tease. It has to be, you know, they're not allowed to drink. Like this is a private bathroom. This gave you that kind of feels, right? There's a story here. She said, black... 10 inch socks. Okay. Bravo, Michelle. That was stupid. But yes, very much that. You had to see Safira's face. <laughs> Safira's face was so funny because she went like this. She did the head nod. The, like, well, kind of. And then Jade's like, I, well, yeah. <laughs> It made it funnier because Michelle threw something that was quite easy to take into us. Like, you know, oh, we're going to make that uh, obvious. Instead, it was, that's not the right password. We're going to just let you through because that kind of played it in. And I said, you know what? Here comes the chemistry that Michelle was talking about. I want to do improv with y'all often. Like she said with Safira. The names were funny. The setups were funny. Oh, look, Michelle, look, Car look, look, it's powder. You, it, hold on. And Safira. Now, you know, now, you know, Dada, how to use that powder. We know you know how to use that powder, Dada. <laughs> Go on ahead. And then Carson starts powder. It's tingly. <laughs> I'm sorry. That shit was funny. I was like, okay, this is a funny bit. Powder. The powder brushes or the powder puffs with the being powder. Is that like Carson played into it? Michelle was playing with it. This is why this was funnier, and this is why this worked a lot better because everything that they were throwing between Safira and um, Jane, Carson and Michelle were receiving, and what Michelle and Carson are throwing, they're throwing it right back. This is very improv. There's a setup here and they have a line of, okay, we're going to do this, this is that and the other. However, you have two people who have been brought into a scene like Michelle and Carson who are now adding to the effect. Instead of you going yes and no, you're actually applying more to the joke. You're adding another layer to it. There's this banter, it goes on and then you start to laugh with everything. That's why this worked, all of it. 
Safira is a pro. Jane got out of her head. Glad we got it. These jokes were funny. The segregation joke was hilarious. That was funny. This is the bathroom with all the things with all the things you like about the 1920s and all the, but without all the things that you don't like. You know, they were like, uh, what was it? Like prohibition, syphilis, segregation. And it was wah, wah, wah. like, but like, come on now, stupid. Then the joke, hold on. <laughs> Talking about, and of course, we're like scat, scat. I don't like scat. Where'd you get scat from? Like, and again, broke that whole moment of the character to take us into the excuse you. Oh, no, we're not doing that. Uh, uh no, you're taking this too far a little bit. Them pulling bottles out from everywhere. Yes, hilarious. And just like you're over here, hey! Also, Safira's name being Sequoia. Brilliant. Sequoia. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is... I don't know why that name was so funny to hear. It was even funnier to hear Jane say it. It's Sequoia. <laughs> it's Shakira. She never get my name right. Because, like, let's say she was forgetting her name. And then she was like, no, just keep it. Just do that from now on. So that way it's a thing. And it's a bit. <laughs> yeah, this was the best one of the night. It was quite funny. Mind you, Jane was worried. I don't know if their style is going to match with mine. And look at how this came out. Also, um, Safira can sing her ass off. I mean, we knew she had vocals, but baby, I was here. I was here, Safira, for all of this. I was. Did you hear her singing? It was so good. I was like, wow. Like, Bravo. And this was just for like a random skit that we're doing over here over a bathroom. Bitch, imagine when she's taking herself seriously and we're on a huge level of the stage, like somewhere in Broadway or on a mega platform. Oh my God, this is just playing around. I mean, I, mm. Mm. Mel, thank you so much for the two people on PayPal. I appreciate your lives, Maddie. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. I appreciate you too. And thank you all for tuning in. My tummy is telling me I need to put something in my mouth again. D's nuts. Uh, hit the like button, share, and stupid Matt. <laughs> hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Cover on this Red Pack family. I appreciate you so much for being here today. If you want to drop a tip, people in my jar, show you a little bit of extra love. It does go a long, long way. It's paypal.me for my rants, catch up to my rants, and then the rants. I appreciate y'all so much for being here today. I love you down. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. My kids are asleep on the couch in case you were wondering. Um, No, I was on mute, my joke. No. Okay, the joke was, I thought you stored those nuts elsewhere. Yeah, these cheeks. <laughs> no? Okay, fine. In between these cheeks? Yeah. Because I have, I have big cheeks. And count. I mean, I was just trying to make sure that the nut went down, okay? I really was just trying to make sure that the nut went down. Because these peanuts can be a little dry. They can be. Of course, these cheeks. What cheeks would I be talking about? You guys. Uh, oh. Four hundred and fifteen of you are here. Thank you for tuning in and laughing at me or with me, whatever you choose to do. Yeah. 
This was funny. I can see you. Oh, hi, Dada. Hi, Dada. Hi, DD. This was stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. This shit was so stupid. It's Michelle to me was having a good time with this group in particular. But in general, she was having a good time, right? But like, I don't know why this this particular skit, she is just very, very in it. Like, hi, Dada. Look, I can see. Freaking hate her. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, go ahead, Michelle. I thought you were funny. I put I put my eye too close a few times. Like, come on now. It was funny. It was just easier to receive. It felt like a full skit. It didn't have any. They they didn't mess up. And if they did, we didn't know about it. Everything flowed, and that's why this worked the best. Ha! Ah, a bathroom challenge. It flowed. Look at me. Oh my gosh, that was a toilet reference. I did it. Flush. I'm funny. I'm funny, funny. I'm funny. It's about me, honey. Oh, wait, wait what is it? Um, oh, come on, Matt. Think of the song. Out there on the dance floor. Yeah. Wait, oh, it's from Bob's Burgers. What's her name again? Oh, come on. What's her name? It was his one-time girlfriend. No. Mm, I'm so mad. What was her name? And she was going to be a pop artist. Oh, oh God. No, I wish this was hitting me. Uh, I, oh, I haven't watched enough Bob's Burgers lately. I've been on American Dad for the last couple. Fanny, thank you. It's Fanny. On the, on the dance floor. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite animated scenes of all time. Uh, is from Bob's Burgers. And it comes, uh, it's from that episode. I think it's part one, not part two. Uh, but it's Fanny and it's Linda Belcher. And they're like, they're leaving Bob and Mr. Fish Odor. And they're like, shop it, shop it, yeah. That little segment, I swear to God, tickles me every time I bust out laughing. It is my favorite Linda moment. Because Linda hits that hip and she's like, yeah. <laughs> Ah, it's so stupid. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I gotta watch the episode before I go to bed tonight. That shit kills me every time. Shop and shop and shop shop. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want to hear a secret? They're really gonna turn the, <laughs> the Wonder Wharf into apartments. Linda, we can hear you. No, no, we can't hear us. Yeah, they're best. <laughs> I'm sorry. That whole episode was hilarious. Oh, so stupid. <laughs> oh, you can hear me. Why? <laughs> Finding out that the creator of Bob's Burgers is also queer. And a lot of people on the show that do the voices are queer too. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful show. God bless them. Like they have really... I love that show so much. You just do not know. <laughs> I have like the first couple of seasons on DVD and everything. I love Bob's Burgers. Anywho, we got to close out the poll from the last, the bootlicker speakeasy. I hate that name so much. Uh, y'all, 86% of y'all are giving 12% said met and 1% chopped this. Now, category is to the runway kids to the runway runway the runway please it's chain reaction they're running out of chain references they are soon it's going to be chain gang has it been chain of fools yet chain chain fool like has it been that yet they're running out of references Let's give us your best Lawrence Cheney watch. And it will have nothing to do with Lawrence Cheney at all. Watch. <laughs> they've already done whips and chains. They've already did, they've already said that multiple occasions. Whips and chains excite me. Uh, belts, buckles, and chains for, for down under. Like, very that. Very that. Very that. Also, are y'all who said that Saphir had the same silhouette still talking that ooey gooey sh or have y'all learned your lesson that we can never know until we see what happens next on the runway? Because that wasn't the same silhouette. Either way, let's talk about Morphine Love Dion. Chains of Love. Okay, that's one. 
<laughs> it has to do with love. <laughs> love, 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 love. Makes the world go round. I was also wrong there. That's Buttercup singing that part. Bl- Blossom's the one that does the puppy dogs, kitty cats part that I thought was so stupid. But Bubbles had the best one. What do we think about Murphy and Love Dion? Chain of events. Come on, Japan. That's better. Oh my God, those lips, oh, excuse me, the, the, that, those nuts were just, it was great. Well, I'm, I'm starting to learn, Andrew, that people don't understand what a silhouette actually is. Maddie, why does Morphine Tuck always look so meaty? Blame that BBL light, Lisa. They lifted all that, they lifted that fat from the bottom, girl, gave her no time for the front. It's unbalanced now. She she giving you tuck a hole, tuck a he, tuck a she, tuck a me. You said you give it to her, give it to me. Like um, sound like somebody's favorite rap. Of, listen, rap stress. Can't do this today, Jennifer. Thank you for the tippy poo on uh, cash up. Um, tip somebody in Miami. Thank you for the laughs. Thank you, poo. I do plan. Oh, that's another thing too. I need to go over with my friends before we get to this drag brunch. Okay, y'all may not have ever gone to a drag brunch before, but you're at this table with me. Y'all tipping. You don't have a lot of money? Okay, then. Baby, you got $10? We're going to break that 10 into 10 ones. One dollar a hoe. We're going to get through this. But you going to drag brunch with Maddie Rance. You're tipping at this table. Jeff and Troy have no issues. Y'all know my other friends. This is DW. And DW, you know how I operate. I have talked about drag for so long. I will never walk into a bar and not have my money money ready to go for a drag show. You are fucking crazy. This is the art that I have literally has paid my bills. I'm going to pay these bitches. How? How? I mean it too. I'm going to talk to them down. Like you spend it all on all this stuff. Here is $10 from me. Break it into one. We're not doing your, somebody's hands going up. Okay. Child, I'm a child of a drag. I'm a drag lady myself. Because they're going to talk about you, but they're going to talk about me first. So, uh-uh. Y'all paying. <laughs> Morphine Love Dion. I like this, and then I didn't like it in certain parts of it. So, I'm going to say she's cute. This is the first time I didn't care for your mug, and it was because of the lips. The This here, though, oh, right with the eye. Love the eye. Love all of you. That lip, all the jewel on your lip gave me busted lip. It gave me a bloop a bloop. Valtrex. That was my only issue with that lip. It gave me, I need a pumice stone, an exfoliant. Not I. Not I. Didn't like the lip. Love the eye up here. It was giving me a Victoria Monet's album cover tease with the eye beauty. I'm also obsessed with All Right right now, y'all. I cannot stop playing that song. I cannot stop playing that song. The Kate Trinata in that mother is just, ooh, peas. That panty is very abrasive. Hey, suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I like the boot. I like it with the corset number. I like the uh, the wig on top. It's cute. My bad, Mina. I'm sorry. I know that was loud, sweetie. She's cute. Yeah, I didn't like how she did the lips. I hate the panty. Everything else I like about it. So it's a it's positive to the rest of it. That panty can. 
I don't know what that panty is giving, baby. It, it's giving me the the bulges I see in some of the older uh, videos I used to watch of certain particular folks that people were swooning over because it's just the body and not the waist. But it's also giving. Why are we looking at that one part so much? Because it 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 just looks so different than everything else. It's like there's the panty, panty, panty. It's like outfit, outfit, panty, outfit, outfit, outfit. Like how that the loudest thing on the outfit. But yeah, I thought it was it was fine. I just I would have made different decisions. The mouth and the panty. Everything else is great though. Yeah, everything else is good. Just, just yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the panty. <laughs> Wrapping this poll up, fifty four percent of y'all said this is giving. Forty three percent said she's cute, and two percent have chopped it. I just would change that one, two, two, two things. That's it. Two things I change. That's it. Just two. This program is for entertainment purposes only and content is not intended to malign any religion, race, company, individual, gender, or wigs. All opinions of specific matter and symbol. I dare you. I dare y'all to lie about it. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to be like, guys, no. I'm just going to say, I dare you to bullshit me on this one right here. Girl, what? How kind they were to you. Oh, so kind. They're so used to good things happening that they weren't expecting for this foolishness to walk down the stage. I hated it. I hate this. Q is amazing and she's got good looks. I fucking hate hate this so much. I hate it. I want to ask so many questions. Where did you get those chains? How much did they cost? I know it wasn't more than $5 a pop. Can't be. They look like they get stuck together. Like, I just... Colors are fine. Colors are great. Waist, like where, like if we go waist down, I like the fit of the pant a lot. The pant with the corset under, like that part's cool. I'm cool with that. That that's fine. I hate everything else about it, though. I the pants are fine. I just not what's happening with said pant. Like the pants themselves are fine. It's when we get to the chain element of it. That's not even the worst part. It's this wig. 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 Okay, so not one explanation on that runway said you were an animal. Not a uno. So I have to ask you, where are the textures going and why are they so far apart? It's hair show in the middle and it's Pound puppy on the sides. I have so many questions. Bitch, like I said after Ange had posted, my chop block friend had posted, what is this hair giving? It's giving that you lied about what you needed for your hair appointment. You didn't come with the hair that you were going to supply. So you told your beautician, do you have hair here? Because I don't have the hair. So she only could work with what she was given. And when it came time for you to pay the other half of your deposit for this entire appointment, because you paid the one hundo up front, but you still had the one fifty left, friend, because you added a couple of things, and she had to supply her own hair. It didn't go through, so she kicked you out her shop and left you be. I thought she was a dog with this interesting updo based off of these things on the side of her head, but I I say again. She didn't explain that. <laughs> so that's why I was like, so this isn't a dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> I thought it was ears. I thought it was ears. I was like, that has to be. She's a dog and these are chains and she's giving this different version of that. Has to be. It is the worst look of hers this season. And I can relish in it because guess what? She won't have this again. I mean, that bra was a, was a fool for the hat runway, but 
this is the only time I'll ever say this is a chop from Q. I don't think I've ever said a chop. I don't think I ever did. This is a Hajduken chop. Mm -mm. Game over. I'm like, ah, uh ah, -uh, don't. I can't. Matt, oh, I already highlighted that. I don't know why I did it. Thank you, again, Lisa, for that. Piece of potato, that wig just sung short and bread. It's a, it's a, it's a, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Thank you, Pisa Mateo. Tay T, they said nothing about the damn hair helmet. Which, again, for y'all that go, it's rigged, this, that, and the other. Okay, so they should have definitely had a conversation about this wig, though, and it didn't happen. So what are you talking about? That applies across the board. We're also given an edited version of the show. So who is to say they didn't drag her for this wig and they didn't want to see us seeing her suck her teeth again? Whatever the case may be. Cuckoo, I felt like I didn't highlight this and I want to thank you for that, but I haven't and I am going to watch it tonight. Even if it's a head muff, why would you wear it with this? I don't think y'all understand how atrocious the back of the wig was too. I don't think y'all get it. I don't think you get it. I don't think you get it. Is this where her black scent comes from sometimes? I'm I'm joking. I'm oh, excuse me. I'm I am so sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It, it's hair show in the middle and it's uh, a abandoned animal on the sides, okay? It's basically yeah, yep, there it is. There a, a neglected animal. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Basically the wig is giving a hair show, and then the sides of it are BBJ and Sam. Some of y'all will get that joke. Oh, yeah. It's giving in the eyes of an angel, a neglected aunt. Girl, who brushed that cat? Who brushed that dog on the side? Nobody. Look at the... What? So many questions. So many questions. You're welcome, Peace to Mateo. I know you felt that one. Hmm. And what what's she gonna do? I don't got her in my thumbnail. You're not gonna strike my channel in, uh, inappropriately, Miss Thing. Yes. Oh, making a mockery of a whole entire religion. It is insane to see. It is insane to see y'all. And I'm just the last thing I'm gonna sp speak on her. It is insane to see someone make a mockery out of the Muslim faith. An in insanity. And then complained about com pe and people being upset that she's making, whoa! I, I, I actually had to stop watching reaction channels and like diving into that this past week because that was like my last straw. It was like, okay, that that's it for me. Game over. It's already been like enough with her, but like that part right there, that you can't come back from that. That, that, was, that was it for me. I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no way. Like literally a privileged white woman who ran across to a completely different country to get married just because, just because. <laughs> like, y'all, I, I can't get into that storyline right now. That's why I don't cover her, because, like, mm -mm. that is a sick woman, I'm telling you. Whew. Thank you for the super chat, the wrong way to you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, DW. Appreciate it. Whew. No, I'm, I'm talking about some other YouTuber who is not a part of this channel's makeup and they have already proven that they're racist and like a bunch of other things and homophobic and this and the other and da, 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 and very manipulative to the, towards their audience. But like, I'm not going to get into her. It's just the new arc now for them in that girl world. I, I just, it's, it got very gross and disturbing and the gaslighting and the victim shit is just, it's too much now for me. Like I, they, she's been doing it, but now it's like death con level 10. Like, it's like, wow. Like, wow. You, you really are, you really here now. Okay. Got it. So I can't, I can't watch that. It's, it's too much. Yeah. I don't know. They changed their name Salome. So they change their name every other week. So that way people can't like get into the search history and look up old videos of them. It's a lot. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the poll. 
cute. 82% of you chopped it. 14% of you said she's cute. And 2% of y'all are giving. Riley Spencer said it, yeah. <laughs> I almost don't want you to get y'all into that world because if you do, the only way to go through it to where you'll know the truth is through the reaction videos. Because as much as someone else, as, as much as that person wants to say they're a lie, that everyone lies on them, you have to watch the reaction videos in order to find out the truth. It's the only way. You will, you will never know the truth if you follow the person who they're talking about. You'll never know. You'll never know. But yeah, Riley gave their name. Um, you'll never know. She will lie to you at every every chance, and they always clock it. It's so funny. It's like, girl, like at what point? When are you going to get tired of doing this? <sighs> the Ru the two Wong Fu reference was great, and I'm I'm happy RuPaul did say it for a chains runway, but um. Yeah, Jum Jumunji, you, you just just do it. It's it, it's not cute right now. It's it's real fucked up to be honest. That's why I can't get into it. I'm like, wow, this is this is blasphemy. Like every every second. <laughs> um, this the, now we talk about silhouettes. The girls are always talking about like aesthetic and style. Mama's hips been out on damn near every dress too. At the same time, I kind of like it now Don makes these things, so it's cool with me. This is okay. It's not a wave cap. It's just a wrap around the head versus a wave cap. That'd have to be like all the way over. It looks kind of dark. It, it looks kind of dark for an, I know, but that's her hair up there. It's just a little, a little band to give her a little like where the chains can hang off of situation tees. It's not ugly. I like it a lot. I do. I actually like this a lot. It's just, I, I will go ahead and say that this is not something I would look at and go chain runway. I wouldn't, I'd just be like, this is a dress with chains on it versus... It's it's chains as a category. I would just assume she would have done a nice dress. Like that's where I would leave it. Oh, it's a nice dress. Oh, it's chains? That's the category? So it's cute. She's cute. What? What did I say? Stop playing. What do you mean stop playing? This is how I feel. What the fuck? <laughs> it's cute, but it's not... I'm not going, oh, this is amazing. Like, uh, it's She's cute. I don't get category for this. I get it's a black dress. She put some chains on it. Bet. It's a nice dress. Like I'd wait, bitch. But I actually got some. I don't need pads to make that look right. Oh, so that was the tea that she made this the night before. Ooh, I wonder what happened to her original outfit, or if she had an original outfit. Who said G unit? Wow, y'all, that is not a wave cap up there. Please don't make that a thing. You know. Them folks already be confused about uh, ballroom terminology. Please don't add that to the equation while we're making jokes. You know, we can laugh about that, but they think it's real. Don't do that. I wonder what happened to her look. Hmm. I mean, mind you, the girls bring patterns to work with. So that may have been one of the ones that Dawn brought that was easy for her to work with or that she feels comfortable doing because she knows her silhouette. Well, DW, if you really want to do this, there are a couple other ones from the previous episodes where it does that same sort of bit. But, you know, again, I think that looks good with Dawn. She gives a little, a twink with hips. Impossible, unless you're, but yeah, twink with hips. I like it. It's nice. It's a nice look. It's just not her best look. Uh, but I would still go, go on, girl. I know you've worn them heels like for the last three runways too. Yeah, you've had them, them little heels, honey, them black ones, them black heels. Yeah. Y'all talk about that dancing shoe that's a few weird. No, them heels right there. Yeah, they, they've seen that. They've seen that runway. <laughs> All right. So with Jonathan Taylor Thomas, 55% says she cute, 40% chop it, and 4% are giving. It's Dawn.
Oh, DG, when I say it was so apparent during that lip sync, when she turned around and flopped like a like a baby seal being plooped out for the first time and crawled on the stage to body, I will never let it go. I was like, you know what? You know what? She will always be Donathan Taylor Thomas to me. Okay? She will always be Donathan Taylor Thomas. Nymphia? This could be so regular and basic. I'll tell you why I like it and why I'm going to say it's good and it's giving. Tad bit. It's giving, but it's right close to she's cute. So we're clear. Because this isn't like the biggest of the outfits. It's presentation that's key for me that made this giving. So it's closer to she's cute. But I have to give it giving because I was enamored with the entire presentation. Um, for one, this is why I like it. It's not the typical colors that you would have thought that this was going to be, like a black or a silver or something else like that. You thought it was going to be some basic colors that we're used to. Baby, the way this fabric looks like on this corset is sickening. Um, I'm typing it as I'm talking. I'm sorry, y'all, for the vote. Something about that blue is just so fucking pretty. I love this print on it. It just looks so cute. It's it's like she said, a mixture of feminine and hard together. And she was playing with that. Honey, that wig is right with God. That wig is right with God. Right with God. Now... I know she that she was talking about the chains being um, something close and traditional uh, and representing, and she also incorporated some other things too that I thought were really cool. Oh God, she is so puss. This is so puss. However, I will agree with a comment I just saw. I wish there was a little bit more chain, a little more chains that were going on there. I wish there was a little bit more happening. But something about this was just so, I just loved. I just loved it all. I will agree with the chain part of it. Like, I wish it was a little bit more extra with that. However, it's giving with a close to she's cute because I wish it was a bit bigger of an outfit. But that blue whip that she was cracking, I also love that it was blue. It was like a light blue. It just was hot. It was like really hot. I was like, yeah, no, this is hot. This is also not yellow. Presentation was the selling factor for me. So it's giving at the end of the day on my end. I can see where she's cute though, but it's giving. The color just looks really good on her. Like, really good on her. It, <laughs> it's, I, I love it. I love the different colors with the, uh, the knots here. All of this is beautiful with the teal and the blue. All of it. It's, it's hot. It, the pleaser. God. Like, yeah, it's, it's right with the money. The body was right. She was shaped perfectly. It was together. Yeah, Nymphia was Nymphia was the wind. I, I I really did enjoy it. Cinched girl, cinched girl, cinched. Ew. Loved it. I'm gonna let y'all vote a little bit more, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to put some more nuts in my mouth, peanuts. Ah. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this rant pack family. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Did my phone fall? <gasps> no, it's over here. Oh my God, I got nervous. If you want to drop it to people in my jar, it's paypal.me for slash my rants, catch up with all Simon rants, and the my rants. Appreciate y'all for tuning in today. Get those votes in. Let me put some more of these in my mouth. Oh my gosh.
can I be real? I know people have a peanut allergy, and I hate that for you. One of my brothers has a peanut allergy. As much as pretzels are great on the plane, I do miss getting the packaged nuts on a plane. I used to love it when I was a kid. And Southwest had the honey roasted ones. <gasps> oh! Southwest had the honey roasted ones, Continental, because it was Continental back in the day before it was United for the girls that remember. Remember Continental Airlines? Oh my gosh. No shade. They 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 were a bit better before they merged. No shade. <laughs> but like, I miss them. So yeah, I, I love nuts. They're good. Macadamians, are they the best? A good walnut's good too. A candied walnut? Oh! Oh, a candied walnut. Y'all are not ready. Pralines are king. Pralines are king, though. Okay? But, like, I'm, I'm a sucker for them. Pistachios are pretty good, too. They're pretty good. I, I became recently a fan of them. I used to not be that girl about them, but then I, I became a recent fan. Um, and one of the only candies I will eat that has nuts in it, and you probably hate this candy, but I'm going to talk about it. Almond Joys. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Drag me. I love coconut and I love almonds and I love that chocolate all together in that one. It's a perfection. My brothers and yeah, I, I, I knew it. You coconut haters. I hear you. I literally have coconut flavoring for my coffee in the morning. So my brother and sister hated the Almond Joys. So for Halloween, because I hated Kit Kats. I'm like, what the? what is the point of a Kit Kat? It doesn't even taste good. I hated Kit Kats. Um, what was the other one, Matthew? Come on. And just the regular Hershey chocolate. Because I'm like, nah, bitch, I want to miss the good boss. So it was like those two. I would change, I would exchange their Almond Joys. And it would come my way just like that. Actually, Japan, you're right. Cashews are pretty good. They're just really high in fat. Um, and super expensive, too. Yeah, cashews are super expensive. Mm -hmm. I do like coconut. I do. Like the blue water from Sonic with like a strawberry flavoring. It's really good. You're allergic to coconuts? I'm so sorry. I like coconut cake and everything. I do. Oh my God, Japan, how could you say that? I'm a millennia. <laughs> I'm a millennial. You cannot say that. Call me a boomer. What's wrong with you? And what's wrong with boomers? Not all of them are evil people. Don't do that. We have some of our elders in our older community are very important to society. Let's wrap that poll up. I'm loving this nut conversation. <laughs> pistachios, pistachios, cashews, macadamias, greater than almonds and peanuts, greater than pecans and walnuts. But you have to have like a candy pecan or a walnut though, Jose. They're so good. They're so good. So good. Nymphia, 75% are giving, 23% said she's good, and 1% are chopping. Like especially during Christmas season, or like the holiday season. Oh my God, honey. Wow, like a chocolate covered, like, okay, what? Boy, let me tell you something. <laughs> Hit up your gammy's house, get you what you need. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like, I don't know what it is, Natasha. My mom liked coconut, so I became like a huge fan of it. Um, and I used to drink a lot of virgin daiquiris and virgin pina coladas as a kid because I wanted to feel like an adult. So <laughs> I, I grew to love coconut a lot. I don't like the smell of it. If that's that's weird to probably say, I don't like the smell of coconut, but I like the taste of coconut. Okay, let's talk about plain Jane's look. <laughs> Not Bosco was boarding chick. <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. Everybody's different. Uh, listen. This probably is why I had that Kim Petra song in my head. Gag on it. Suck it up. Eat it up. G A G on me. My coconuts. You better pad that ass, Jane. I gotta talk about it though. She that 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 butt is padded, darling. I'm like, go on, girl. Go on, girl. The shape was right though, honey. 
The shape is right. Shape is right. Um, I actually like this wig too, and I think her makeup is fine. It's, it hasn't really, her mug has not really changed as much. And I'm, you know how the judges always go, we wish you would change your makeup up. They don't ever give Jane that critique. Ever. A couple other people too. I'm starting to think that they don't like certain people's faces or they're prompted or the judges are prompted to make like a critique to like challenge a queen or something like that. I'm starting to think that, that, that that's how that goes. Cause it's like, why are you talking about that? We've seen this before on her. I, I have to say she's cute. I'm not going to chop it cause it's not a bad look. It's just something that we've seen with her. It's a body sex robot sort of bit. Yeah. It's not bad though, but you know, we've been here. We've been here. It does. It does reserve her. Yes, the green accents in the hair, intentional, does match the accents of, uh, let me get my arrow over here, in the look. So yeah, definitely intentional with that color story. Y'all are naming this person, but I, like, what? What? Did you say this is Basquet? Biscuit? Boskanovich? Who is that? I won't do the comparison game with y'all. I totally see what you're saying. I'm not going to do it with you. Biscotti? Yes! Bisky, yes! There we go. Come on, Ramp Pack! Yes! Give me your bisky! <laughs> oh, yes, all the hate you're looking for will be applied tomorrow. As Dooley gets on the platform and reminds us that he does not like that lady at all. Okay? So if you're looking for a little anger... You will find it tomorrow. Hopefully, Chris will be back from his vacation. Maybe you'll also, maybe the Bobs will be in the room. Maybe that one individual who wants to tell Chris to suck it up, eat it up, gag on it. We're going to wrap up playing and we're going to get to Safira. I'm so tired of her hoop skirts. Okay, girl. I'm so tired of her. All right, girl. I'm so I, I'm tired of you making these statements and not applying it to everybody. I'm tired of me also falling into it too. I loved it. I thought it was fabulous. There's not going to be that many chops, and for the girls that don't like it, eh, it's on you. Uh, this is great. It's hot. So many fetish looks have have gone down the runway and been given ultimate praise. I think this is one of the best ones personally. The chains were incorporated through the dots in the spots that were on what is the dog, which makes it that much cooler because the chain's already around the neck, but it's then given this whole like thing. No one's gonna fight you. You're not that, it's not that deep. It's absolutely not that deep. It's simply a pole. If you didn't like this, that's for you. I don't care. It's great, it's a good look. Fabulous. Different silhouette, full on latex moment. The lips were done perfectly. It's all that. I know, Chick, I'm to me, I'm just like, even if you did chop it because you wanted to, who cares? Like, like everybody. If you chop it, you chop it. If you didn't like it, you didn't like it. If you loved it, you loved it. God is good. God is great. Eat your food. Now shut up at steak. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, can we just have a good day? <laughs> ah! like, look, look, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. No, it was it was puss for me. Well, it was bitch for me. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh, it's very interesting. I wasn't expecting her to do this, too, to be real with you. I also was trying to think, what would her chains look be like? But this was fabulous. It was different. It caught the judges off guard, you know, uh, switched it up a bit. It was risky, and it paid off. The nose is so, I'm like, it's giving me, like, a Scooby nose. 
Like I've never seen a nose on the mask before like that. So that's why I was like, oh, is that Odie from fucking Garfield? Bitch, is that Odie's nose? That look like Odie's nose, don't it? Is that what that's based off of? Hold on, let me think of other cartoon dogs. Wait a minute. <laughs> the nose gave me Odie tease. Okay, John never got enough food for his cat. Terrible owner he is. John Arbuckle. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to date people that look just like him. Did y'all realize Liz looks exactly like John? Like they're low-key cousins or, or brother-sister. Okay. <laughs> she chewed, literally. When she pulled out that toy, I was kind of gagged. I was like, oh my God, not that she had a chewing toy in the purse. Also, the purse is kind of everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Heels were hot. Hey, hey, no dancing shoe this week. They they said uh her safe word was slew foot. I, I could not take RuPaul. <laughs> Ru, that was one of the best jokes you've had. Her safe word is slew foot. <laughs> RuPaul is such an idiot sometimes. I swear to God. Like, come on. Yeah, but different shoes, different bit. I said, okay. I liked it. That was good. What is it? What's your matter? Hold on. You want to back up? What's your matter? You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, that's my big girl. Hi. Hello, baby. My, oh, my big girl. Say hi to me to everybody. This thing. Why? What's wrong? What time is it? It's five. Okay. No, they're not getting food until another hour. Did I wake you up? What you want, big girl? Hmm. This little baby. Oh, my God. This little baby girl. Oh my God. She has so much attitude. It's ridiculous. She is a sweetheart, but my God, like what, what a bitch. Like no, no shade. Like I love her, but. <laughs> Y'all don't know. You do not know. There have been nights like. Because now there's a new, like, midnight snack hour. If I stay up too late, because my normal bedtime is after 11, but if I am in anywhere after 1 a.m., if I'm still up, they take advantage of that. Oh, yes, they do. And loud, too. Like, I think Mamu does that on purpose to punish me. And then Mina's like, oh, we're being loud? Cool, me too. Wah! Like, And they're like, yeah, you could give us a midnight snack. Yeah, because you didn't want to go to bed, so you can put something in our bowls right now because you're still up. Since you're up, we'll be up too. So serious. I hate it. I'm already halfway through a bag. DW, I am halfway through that bag already, friend. I have to buy the bigger bag of food now. I can't buy the four-pound bags no more. Can't. I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. My boys do it at 3 a.m. Tortitude is real. It's a, I, I really thought people were just making that up and people were crazy cat parents. She will not let me hold her unless under certain, certain circumstances. She has to cuddle with me in the bed, but it has to be for a certain amount of time. Like if I do, if I wrap it up too soon, she gets pissed. She's like, what's wrong with you? And she gets like this whole loudness and then she'll like bump me in the head and everything. I am talking about you. Also, they sleep weird. Mamu sleeps like a little loaf of bread. Mina sleeps like this, like she's like she's died or something, and she like froze in the refrigerator. It, it scares me. She sleeps like, and I'd be like, "Are you okay?" Like she freaks me out the way she sleeps sometimes. I'd be like, "Girl, <laughs> oh my god!" But when they're cuddled up together, it's like my favorite thing to see in the entire universe. With Mamu always grooming her, 
it's such it's so sweet every every time i see it i just go oh my god i did the right thing i did the right thing i'm doing the right thing this is the right choice i didn't get too many mm -hmm. yeah she owns my apartment for sure also um i told you about the stray cat that comes by that i sometimes feed that's the only one they will not hiss at or go off on. He looks just like Mamo. He's a little black cat. But like the other cat that came by, Mamu and Mina were about to like throw hands this past week. I thought I was about to be going to the vet with some cats that got in a fight. I was very thankful that I got them in the house in time. The other cat was trying to mark its territory. That's when the other stray came by and literally was like, this is not what you want. They fought outside. I haven't seen the other cat again. I haven't seen him. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot happening in my neighborhood right now. The stories I could tell from the stray cats that roam um, like the area that I'm in, but also like the stories that Mamu and Mina can tell from their choice and who they like to talk to who is outside yeah safira 89 percent of y'all are giving not eight percent says she's cute and two percent chopped it cat drama is fun i am becoming that lady i am i'm gonna become that lady that i talked about many moons ago okay many moons ago who would come into PetSmart when I worked there and she'd take the whole can of wet food, the whole pallet, the little pack thing, and put it in her bag and she'd get a whole bunch of them. And then she'd go up after filling her entire cart and go, are there any more in the bag? And you're like, how many cats do you have? I feel like that's going to be me so. <laughs> yeah, Christina, that was always my... I have seen enough of animal mistreatment and other things like that, as well as understanding sometimes the uh, problems with getting animals from a breeder can be and the medical issues that could follow, as well as the, uh, the bad take that has for a lot of animals that do need homes that end up being abandoned, that would be perfect, perfect pets, you know what I mean? That are looked at as less than because they're in a shelter. Um, I'm all about it. And shout out to the Houston SPCA. They were really kind to me every time I came in there. Um, and my two kids are literally from the SPCA. And I'm very thankful, very thankful for them for giving me my my kids. <laughs> my kids, but yes. Yeah, I do. Some of them I do over here. The one that's nice to me, I do. Yeah, the one that's nice to me, I do. Because I feel bad for him. He looks just like Mamu. He also has stomatitis. I can see it in his in his gums and how messed up they are. And I'm always like, let me just give him something. I can't help it. He also was my cat before Mamu was my cat. If y'all remember, I had a stray cat that kept coming by before I adopted Mamu. So, like, like he he was there before Mamu was. Shit. <laughs> so it's like that. That and he eats the rats that are, you know, around and stuff like that. That's why I tell people, get you a cat. The pest control guy came in here a couple days ago and um, he was spraying around. He saw I had two cats. He goes, oh, you definitely don't have mice problems. I'm sure of it. I'm like, oh, absolutely not. Because if anything crawls on this floor, Mina's going to kill it. And Mama going to sit there and watch her. Get him for me. <laughs> Jacqueline, I swear to you, something keeps pulling me into, can I acclimate him? But I don't know if I have the patience and the funds right now to take in a stray. It's already tough with those two. But in my mind, I'm like, oh, I want to bring him in so bad. Because they get along so well. They get they roll over for each other when Mamu and the other cat outside see each other. Same thing with Mina and Mina's a bitch. So like, oh, I don't know. He's always cooing and cawing for me and all that kind of stuff. I was like, oof. I think he's fixed too. So I'm like, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, the 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 stray is fixed and all that kind of jazz. So like, you could tell. It's like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know, baby. They just like Mama will call out for him sometimes. It's really cute. He'll be like, 
cool. Like they have their own little thing, their own little language. It's really funny. And I'm like, can you please stop? I don't want my neighbors to like think this is the cat corner of the apartment complex. It's not. I promise you the pool area is the cat corner. <laughs> not the adopted cousin. Wait, what season of Moesha is this? Is that cat Ray J out there? Is that what you're saying? Yes, definitely with Felon. Yeah, that part too. Um, so it is a concern. And he's been outside um, unlike the other two. So um, anywho, thanks for tuning in. Um, judging commenced. A lot of things were said in between the set and the other. But we have a team win. Safira and Plain Jane. When I say, oh, production, I, I had to call you here. So this week it was teams. Last week it wasn't. And this is why I can say I understand where Q is coming from. Even though I don't agree with how that carried on and all that passive bullshit. Don't really care for all that. But I can understand and empathize because if I was you, and I just sat up here where you knew this week you're probably going to be in trouble. Compared to last week where you got nothing but nice critiques. And they gave a team win today. Oh, bitch, I would have been. Now this would have made me furious. Not last week. Last week I'd have been upset. Oh, but this week. Oh, I'd been hot. So well, how come it wasn't team last week then? I'm telling you that the, who Caillou Q U. There you go. You gotta say it like that. Matt, you're you're Matt, you're trying to make her uh, to be the villain. Well, why did she make this face when Safira was getting good critiques? Go watch the episode. She did. It was. I'm not making this up. This is after her critique. They've already gone down to Plain Jane into Safira. They're literally talking to Safira. I, production, you are nasty for catching this. Because, like, Safira is getting praised and literally turns in the same... I almost went... Do I have the slideshow from before? The same head, the same face, all of it. And I'm thinking to myself... I think she may realize this may not have a lot to do with Safira in this moment. It might be her realizing, I don't know if they want me to go all the way anymore. I think she was feeling like that. And now that feeling's not so much. And it's hard for her to pull in a face because some of us are very readable in our emotions. But this is when they were talking to Safira. Go back and watch the scene again if you think I'm lying. And dead ass while she was getting good critiques. And I'm like, oh, girl, they caught you again. You you got to stop that. And you may, maybe you were about to sneeze. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. So it gives you the narrative of bitter. And I hate that. I don't even think she's bitter. I just think this, now they're using it because she keeps making faces like, oop, caught her. Oop, caught her. Oop, caught her. And we're going to put this in there because this don't look like I'm a happy for you face for it. It don't. It don't. It don't. This wig is shit. It is horrible. I fucking hate everything happening here. Oh my God, this wig. Oh, that's why you're over here. You hear me chewing on these nuts. You know you can't have none. That's not good for you. No, ma'am. Hi. I brought you up here before and you acted like a little asshole. Don't look. Don't what? Girl, don't look at me like that. Hi. You're still adorable. I can't put collars on y'all. 
I know, but you won't love me. But love me. Don't run, love. I hate your... Why do you do drive-by love? I hate that. I'm tired of you doing drive-by love with me. You're like, pet me, pet me, pet me. And when I try to be like, I don't want to touch you anymore. <laughs> yeah, this week, she has less of a reason to be pissed. Unless the team win bit is kind of like really girl yeah <laughs> that i can see her being a little bit upset like oh now y'all do that but like this week she wouldn't even in the conversation or the running to be like you're gonna win this week not with that outfit not with this face not with no nope not with the challenge mm -mm. salome hall did you see blake did you see blake Did you say hi to Blake? Because Blake was there. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the super chat. Sphere was very emotional at the watch party. Um, yeah, Blake was there. Blake was in the building. He was in the front row. Mm -hmm. Sphere was very emotional at the watch party last night. It's so hard to watch critiques and said she and Dawn got very close during filming. You miss Blake? Yeah, he was there. He was sending... Um, it's so funny you sent that because Blake was sending us pictures of Safira and everybody that was there in the event and video footage. And then Blake was zooming in on her shoe and was like, Matt, there go that shoe. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, she's wearing her dance shoe. <laughs> cause it, cause didn't she do something to body, but it was like slowed down a little bit or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had like that fire outfit on. Oh, Blake saw me there. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. You know how I feel about the panel members out and about. If you see somebody in the ramp pack, you get to your business and be nice and kind now. You're representing the company, except representing the brand. <laughs> <sighs> I don't have pictures for Untucked today, but I do want to lightly address it right now and say I thought that Morphine's drag mother uh, and that message was beautiful. I also thought it was really cool that Plain Jane kind of received a little bit of it as well, since that technically is, I think, her drag mother too. So it was like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? I swear to God, they haven't done a Safira video yet. They haven't done the Safira video. I'm freaking out about said video, okay? That's going to be really cool if they do the Safira video. Maddie, stop talking. All right, stop talking. Stop talking. I'm going to get emotional with that. If if they do that bit, y'all are going to, if you're watching my reaction that day, Maddie is going to be sobbing. <laughs> going to be like, ah. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. I have a feeling. Okay, listen, moving forward here. I had to wrap that up. I'm not going to talk about it. Yes, I, I need to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet. So listen, morphine and because because everybody, P.S., they all do that for every contestant. There is a certain person or people that they ask to do a video for them. So all of them would have had videos. FYI, I may be aware of one of the videos and who would be on said video. But if it is, I might get emotional. So. If it does, oh my God. And that's all I'm going to say. And that's it. That's it. No more. All right. So Morphine Love Dion and Dawn are in the bottom. Do you agree with these two being in the bottom? I have to hear what you have to say. Because I'll tell you this, though. If it had been Q and Dawn and the song was Body, I would have stopped watching this show altogether. I would have let it go. I would have gave up. Okay. Can you imagine if Q was dancing to this song? With Don I mean, we saw what Donnie did, what Donnie Osmond did over here. We, we saw that. Oh, but we did. I didn't want to see Nymphia lip sync, but I also know and have a feeling like Nymphia would have kind of probably did something surprising and it would have been interesting to see. I, I, I think I would have really wanted to see that go down. But uh, I 
Ooh, we, I think, I think we're good. I think, I think we dodged, but you right. Q go to the back. You knew the lip sync song. That's probably why you were so upset. It's probably why you were so angry. You were thinking to myself, wow, no matter who I dance against, I'm going to go home. Even Dawn. <laughs> well, actually that maybe, maybe Q would have beat Dawn because you know, she didn't beat Amanda. The song is Body by Megan Thee Stallion. I'm going to tell you this right now. I would gave Morphine a run for her money if we were lip syncing. Oh, bitch. It'd been fat ass versus fat ass. I know that's right. Baby, you want to do a little wiggle, a little wiggle thigh meat? You want to drop down and get your eagle long girl? Be bad. When I tell you, I would gave Morphine a run for her money. I know this song front to back. Like, oh, really? Including the choreography. Hey, like, I, I said, oh, okay. Okay, but when I tell you from the moment that, uh, 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 real hot girl shit, Dawn lost. That tongue came out right at the act. It was over. They could stop the music, morphine, go to the back. But no, when it was real hot girl shit, and Dawn does this real hot girl shit with her finger. Real hot girl shit. Put the hands up like that and then walked and then did one. I, I said, what the fuck is happening? You wiggled your finger. Eh. I see someone charge their BBL light today. You will have no problems uh, pr problems playing an online game, will you? Can't connect it to a TV, bitch, but I can get close to you. We can play local. I see you, BBL light. Listen, now I wanted maybe a little. There were some. There were some things I wanted a bit more of when it came to that performance, especially as somebody who knows how to make one left cheek move and the other right cheek move. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. So would I have liked a little bit more? Fine. But was it still great? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chewed her up and spit her out. Dawn sat over here and gave us the letter of the day tease. It's like Katy Perry being invited to Sesame Street. Didn't make any sense to me either. <laughs> like, body yacht. Like, hold on. like, what is this? Body crazy, curvy teeth, big titties, big face, body yada 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 yada. Like, 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 what is happening? I was so confused. Dawn started going into different positions. I was like, what's happening here? Meanwhile, baby girl was shaking them that thigh meat for Jesus. And then going in with it, this was this was a lot. She did a couple of these. I was like, okay, girl, I see you. You just showing you don't have to use them hands to position yourself right. Ow. All that kind of stuff. I thought Dawn was taking a shit backstage. I kid you not. Every position she was in was like squatty potty tees. I thought this was an ad for the RuPaul and Michelle uh, podcast. It's on moguls of media. You know, I'm just saying. They'll do a podcast, say something that's controversial, and then try to make content out of it later because they knew it was going to cause an uprising. And girls were going to be upset. And then other people were going to basically, you know, defend that behavior because, oh, I love them so much they can't do wrong. That was recent. Hey, Valerie Pusky Wootsky Wootsky Ooh. If y'all didn't know, I got to do a video with Valerie and YC Rhino uh, this past Sunday. It was a fun video of playing games. Check it out, Valerie. I saw an increase in subscribers since doing that video. Thank you, Valerie. But I did have a fun time. We did have a good a good one with that. It was cute. Every, in e uh, even in every metaverse, Morphine would have slayed, shooting and ate Miss Down out to that song. Everyone, don't forget to like, 
Thank you, Valerie. That is most important. But absolutely. Absolutely. I like Dawn. But Dawn saying, I think I got this, was hysterical prior to this lip sync. Better yet, Dawn saying, I, I know what to do. Not one piece of your engineering degree is going to give you the exact length, width, height, portions, the way that the computer was built together, the infrastructure of the building. I gave us several majors. It was never going to happen. Don A's is real. Don A's is real. And I love Don, but Don A's is real. I put it on all my sandwiches. A little Don A's. It's good for you. Little egg yolk, a little fat on there. Yeah, Don A's. Cause uh uh, girl, you turn, you went and walked to the back of the stage, fell like a baby seal falling out of its mama's puss, and crawled. I'll never get over you. I'll never let that go. I said, why is she on the ground? You let this BBL light sit in front of you, and and give you the business. The light wouldn't even on you at one point in time. Terrible, terrible. Crawl, what you crawling for? What is this for? Who is crawling? You don't listen. That was one of my jokes. Remember this for someone else uses it. Uh, what is it? Q U and Don A's. Look at the lighting, Valerie. Look at the lighting, y'all. Look at the lighting. This isn't some just random picture and Matt changed it up. No, 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 no. Look at the lighting on the stage. They have the spotlight on morphine. Dawn is in the back on the floor. Get up, queen. Get up. That day, that day. They have a list of the music for the entire time that they're there, but they have the song that day. There have been instances where they've said allegedly that they changed it up on them over other seasons. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But they have it that day. They have the, uh, the iPod on them, but they know the song that day. So Don sat and untucked and said, I might have a chance. That was a real, that's a real story. That's a real story. And, and, and Maddie, she didn't know the song. And, and, <laughs> and, <laughs> even if she knew the song, what, what help would that have been? What in Don's wheelhouse of dancing do you think embodies Megan the Stallion shot in the foot by Tory bald headed ass lanes? Tell me, please. I got to hear this. She didn't know the words, and that would have done what if she knew them? <laughs> gonna be real with you what would that have done in that dress that she chose mind you made it the other day babe i'd have been out of that in my full undies like ain't no way we're gonna be on body in that dress is gonna be the downfall of me fuck all that <laughs> and i'm not trying to call you out but i'm thinking to myself hold on she didn't know the words and what does that mean <laughs> This is not in her wheelhouse of music. I'm sorry. And I love you, Dawn, but you know it's not. Dawn the Taylor Thomas, it's not. Drewski, thank you for the super chat. Don Lusion, convince yourself. Listen, if you slap a little Don A's on any sandwich, it's going to taste good. See that, Drewski? It's a tag team, okay? Fozzie, thank you for the super chat. Don is better than me because I would have done a Ginny Lemon and just one. <laughs> Bitch, better than that, I would have been like, hey, let me just lay flat on the stage with my butt in the air and like act like I'm a vibrating cell phone and just wiggle on this stage. And then every time it was body, I just would try to toot my rump up every time. And then I would flip my head over like a vibrating cell phone. Look at how my body that ate it up and gave it back. Like I, <laughs> I would have had to go the full comedy route of it is to make it like 
and very memorable scene. You know what I mean? I'd have to just go something really stupid, just real. What is he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? That's the only way I would have done it. If I didn't know the, if I didn't know the song, if I didn't know anything, like, <sighs> oh, ba Joseph, you know, damn Skippy. I would have burned this stage down, bitch. Morphine would have had to fight for her meal tonight. She'd had to fight for that meal. There is no, now, like, all that heat she had for Maya, that would have me if I was up there with her. Like, oh, I don't think Morphine thinks she got this, but I'm about to show her what a God-given rump is going to show her. Yeah, I'm going to show her what this real booty going to do. Okay, I'm going to show you what that Vincent Deborah rump all about, right? Okay, it's it, it been the battle of the shape. It would have been Battle of the Ass. It, we, hmm. I love this song. It's such a bop. <laughs> it's such a bop. <laughs> Anything Megan the Stallion, I chew. I hope and pray that if I ever go on this show that they haven't used Savage by then because that will be one of the songs that I put in my wheelhouse of music and if I ever get it, oh, you're, it's over for you. I know that bitch verbatim like Lil' Kim's queen bitch, supreme bitch, killer for my, by any means, murder scene, clean bitch. This Reap, check it. I write a rhyme, melt my mouth like in my nims roll with the mafia. Remember them? Tell them when I used to mess with gentlemen. Straight up apostles. Now strictly the jostle. Kill it. But the, how you figure? The cheddar would be better. But right inside of the right nobody do it better than I wet show like a hurricane and typhoon. Got buffoons eating my piss while I watch cartoons. Sleep till noon like baby. Baby. <laughs> Please. If it's Kim or Megan, I'm going to eat you up. As much as I read Megan for sometimes doing that same little rap, Oh, no, I got her. I got her. I got her. And I used to be in a bounce group. I was torn with Bakara doing the crew, bitch, as a backup dancer, where I was literally shaking for a living. That New Orleans, sw that swinging, that real, the real shakums, the real gods. Oh, please, ate her alive. Ate her alive, girl. I'd have been throwing that ass around in different formations. Bitch, what? <laughs> I gave you second line energy, whole. <laughs> Excuse me, Joseph. Sorry. <laughs> Again, I thought she was good, but I was like, she's up against Dawn. This ain't even fair. Like, give her somebody. Like, I wish they used this with Maya and her. That would have been entertaining as fuck. The other song was good too, but her and Maya doing this? Who? Who? They would have chewed. We may have had a double save. I'm tell they would have chewed this up, chewed it up. I think Don would have had a better chance of the Donna Summer song, to be honest. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Like, can you imagine Morphe doing her little le inner leg thigh shake and then my on her head doing the leg twirl? Girl, that would have been hot. That would have been so hot. Strippers. That's what we would have been doing. I would have told Morphine, girl, I think we're both in the bottom. Can we just be strippers? Like, let's lip sync it down, bitch. But if you want to get like nasty and start throwing around with the pussy stuff, I'll do it too. Let's just act. Let's act like we're at the pink. If we'd have made this an episode of P Valley, I'm so serious. The way I would have been like, can we put a pole in the middle of the stage? <laughs> I would have asked for a pole in the middle of the stage. Like, whoa, we would have cut up. <laughs> Please, it's it's body. Like, if anything, you need to like. Give the song has a sort of up tempo hip hop beat. Megan's rapping on it, and it goes with a very fast flow. So, like, you can't give this song time to breathe. This song is about throwing it, it's about doing it, it's about why, 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 why. Give it, give it, give it. Ah, 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 ah. Tell me what you like about. Bah, bah, bah. Sorry, like, it's it's very that. Oh, I'm ready for P Valley to come back, Oof. and I will be covering that season again. Remember, I did do reviews on P Valley. Oh, so many shows that got canceled or they stopped because of the writer's, uh, you know, the writer's strike or something like that happened. They're going to be coming back soon. God, I'm so excited. I'm ready for P-Valley. Such a good show. It's a great show. Uh, did y'all see Carson? Big titties, little waist. I said, Carson, Carson knows, Carson knows the songs. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm ready for We're Here too. I'm going to be doing that one. Especially because, well, I'm, unless there's something else that came out recently. <laughs> Carson said, big titties, little waist. I said, I know that about Go on, purse. Go on, purse. <sighs> Mike. 
Morphine wore her out. I ain't seen someone get beat up that bad in a long time. This is this fight was a lot like you know it just feels like there wasn't security there. Like where is the Zeus team for this? They were watching um Whoa well, Vicky get her ass whooped. How could they? I would never do that to Dawn. Dawn is likable. Yeah, I would never do that to Dawn. I'm sorry, Dawn. That's that's not fair. I put Whoa well, Vicky and you in the same set. That's not okay. You you mm, well listen. Yeah, not even in the same DNA, okay? Like, one's a Neanderthal. <laughs> Matthew, 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 stop. You're going to let it go because you're going to go deep. You're going to go deep. You can't come back from that well now, all right? I also know that Dawn's tongue isn't fighting uh, depression in her mouth like Whoa Vicky's is, okay? Swear to God, well, Vicky Tongue sound like it's about to write its last letter and draw a warm bath, baby. My goodness gracious. I ain't seen someone ever struggle so hard to make some sense out of their entire life ever. Okay. How you want to, never mind. Want to be, ooh, Matthew. Ooh. Oh, 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 let me stop talking about the girls that are just not girling. Um, anywho, it's not fair. It's not fair. Wants to be black, but is wanting to vote for Trump. Stop it. Matthew. Shh, shh, shh. There is something that I want to say and I can't say it because if y'all are familiar with how those live streams used to work and the people that were around her and the others and everybody was a little like, you right oh okay yeah okay right 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 so that that's why i can't take nobody like that seriously or on any level of intelligence or respect at all like i remember those moments i remember those lives before a lot of people were like oh i saw her on zeus and baddies Ooh, you missed the old days yeah you missed the the tt days okay <laughs> you miss them days okay all right before she found god you 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 forgot about those days now <laughs> you forgot about them <laughs> oh my goodness gracious petridge far remembers uh -huh. happiness thank you for the super chat i love this version of baddies stop it i am no i am a saved christian woman um don't pay attention to the whew, in the front. That was me taking a breath. I said, man, thank you. Um, yeah. This is the necklace that broke. Remember the one I told you the class broke? Isn't it crazy how it's still on me and it hasn't like come off yet? The class broke, but it's still there. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyhow, I just want to talk about some other things because this was already like a demolition in itself. Morphine, you, you, you did that, girl. You did. I wish you had someone that gave you a bigger fight, but... Pop off, bitch. Pop off. Here's what's crazy, Evie. I was in LA, what, for two years? Never, not once, felt an earthquake. The only time I felt a little bit of one was like the aftershock of one that happened that woke me and Jamar out of our sleep. Like we were asleep when it had happened. And I remember his shit fell in the, in the apartment, but it was like... And then that was it. But every time there was an earthquake in LA when I lived out there, and I, I remember I was on one of those little uh, rental bikes that you can get, those little motorcycle bikes or whatever. I'm, I literally was going to a store. And I remember I went in the store and they're like, oh my God, our, 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 our computers are down. There was an earthquake. I was like, there was an earthquake? Like, yeah, you didn't feel that? I'm like, no. I was Dawn. I, I'm Dawn in those moments. I, I'm not even aware of it. Some of the times it's, it's so subtle for me. I, unless I see some, some shit moving and I'm like, okay, this is weird. <laughs> I've only been in two earthquakes before. Uh, the one that I just described and another one that happened a long time ago that scared the shit out of us. We were on the 11th story of a hotel. Feeling a building sway is not something you ever want to experience in your life. And is one of the reasons why I will never live in a high rise ever. 
ever, 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 ever in my life. Girl, that is not a feeling. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. That shit was moving. We were high up. The elevators weren't working. I'll never forget that day. And they told us we had to go down the stairs. That was claustrophobic. I didn't like that. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Scary, scary, scary. I was I was very young when that happened, too. I was a kid. So mm -mm, mm -mm. that was a traumatic day. <laughs> like, we were in the hotel room, and then everything started to sway a little bit. Girl, that was creepy. I'll never forget it. My brother was crying. I was freaking out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, can't. I get. I also have a thing for heights. I'm realizing, like, I love roller coasters, but I can't get on top of a building and then look down. That I'm not able to do without getting dizzy immediately. Like, I get really dizzy. It makes me want to throw up. I feel that, you know, when you're like shocked by something, how you have that <gasps> feeling, it, it feels like 200 times that. And that's developed over time. That's weird. I used to not have it when I was younger, but me getting older, I, I really do not care. <sighs> do not care. Do not care. Do not like that. It, it bothers me. I can get on a roller coaster. We can climb up. That's fine. I can do all of that. But if it feels like there's nothing holding me or strapping me, no, 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 no. Freaking out. <laughs> ah, goosebumps just talking about it. Oh, gross. I even feel that way in games. Um, I was, what game was I playing? I was playing a VR game. You know, I had to get like really high up, bitch. I was over there losing it. Like, oh my God, this is too much. It's not even real. <laughs> oh yeah. So when they have to go on, on the top of that building for those photo shoots in New York with the Queens, I'm over here like, Matt, am I going to be able to do that? <laughs> <sighs> it's creepy. It's too creepy to be. Ah. Anywho. Also, the the feeling when a plane dips when you're flying. I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish that on a soul. Like, oof, girl. Oof. Yeah, there was an earthquake in the middle of it, and Michelle was so matter of fact, like, you don't feel that? And Don's like, no, it's like an earthquake. She's like, what? What? Michelle was so sweet, though. She was very like, yeah, that's it. That's it. That, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's an earthquake. Yeah. You don't feel that, girl? Like, no. <laughs> I'm sad Don had to go home. A lot of y'all didn't care for Don. Not saying that all of y'all did. I would read some comments that were not very Don appropriate, but I get it. She wasn't your cup of tea. I like me some Donnie. I won't be able to use my Don jokes no more. No more Donny Osmond. No more Donnie Wahlberg. No more Don than Taylor Thomas. <laughs> it's daunting that we can't talk about Don no more. Ah, that was fun. Daunting. <laughs> oh. Love you, girl. Appreciate the follow back on Instagram. I enjoyed the drag throughout the season. You definitely remind me of a, you, you, I see why you and JK are cool. And I, I can see that spirit in you. I can't wait to meet your sister. Because if you're anything like uh, JK, then I know we're going to get along just fine. Well, I'll be dawned. Oh, that was a good one, Mahalia. Mahalia. Thank you. TTT. Well, I'll be dawned. <laughs> I love that she left on the same ent entrance line, which is it's done, motherfuckers. But I, I, I think, Mahalia, this should have been the exit line right here. Well, I'll be darned. I'll be darned. That would have been funny. That would have been a way to go. Um, I don't listen. It's a makeover episode, so I don't know if there are no clothes for morphine. She would have to make whoever's face look a fool. I don't know. And she's also a professional makeup artist, so that'd be kind of a gag if she ended up in the bottom again and then went home for something that she should be good at doing. Mm. Well, it's official. Uh, Morphine Love Dion will be the queen that has the most confessionals after this episode. She already was, I think, in the lead based on Cetera Side's Drag Race statistics, but like, yeah. I, I I think that uh, Mor morphine will be the winner of that after the end of, at the end of the season, even with the other episodes that are going to come.
There is going to be a lip sync Lala Perusa that's already been dropped. Uh, if y'all look even at your TV schedules, it'll show it. It's going to be coming in April. I understand that we're at the top five, but I promise you, I think, I don't know if they're going to give us a week break or if there's going to be an episode where no one goes home. Something is telling me it's going to be a little bit different than how they've been doing it before. And that's kind of throwing me off a tad bit. I've seen a lot of this comment. I don't know if it's, if it's, uh, I don't know if it's just you wanting to show that support in the chat or if it's a direct dig at me, but uh, always love and shout out and to our trans brothers and sisters and protect our trans brothers and sisters, period. Okay. Well, it's not really tea because Twitter or X or whatever people were posting because uh, on certain, you know, streaming services or cable providers, they have the schedules up early. So the season itself, I don't think is going to be ending until middle of April, end of April. I think the end of April is more plausible. I think there are going to be episodes that even, yes, even now at this late in the game, no one's going home or, 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 it won't be a, a top four like we think it's been before. It may go top three. It may go uh, top two only, where even four and three have to fight for the top two position. I'm, I'm not quite sure yet, but the way it's being laid out is that when I'm on vacation, the show won't be ending and it won't be the semifinals. <laughs> Can I be real with you? That was one of my things about going on this trip that I was really mad about. I was like, bitch, I swear to God, if the show's finale happens on my vacation where this could really hurt my channel, I'm going to be pissed off. And then when I saw where we're at with this current week now compared to what's left with the season, and then the confirmation of that Lala Peru, plus them saying because of the writer's strike and, and things happening that they had to do the finale differently and there's not going to be like a live one going on. It's like, mm, this might go a lot differently than before, which for me, I'm here for. I just want to see how it's going to go down. Like I have a lot of theories. I've had people tell me things that didn't happen, things that did happen that were true. And so now as a viewer, as someone who reviews the show, has a little insider knowledge, I'm like, I really need to see how this is about to go down. Because something is, is starting to feel a lot different and it's not bad, but I now need like an explanation or sort of like, an episode to say, okay, we're going to do this stuff a little bit differently here. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, the 16th episode isn't during my trip. Uh, this episode is the 12th, right? So then the following week, right before my trip uh, week, is the 13th. Then the week of my trip is the 14th. When I come back, I will have made up the 14th episode and then I probably will be on vacation during the UK versus the world uh, finale. So uh, I, I will more than likely miss that being on vacation, unfortunately, but I'll still be able to review it when I get back. Um, but yeah, so I, by the time I come back from my vacation and everything, yeah, the finale is not going to happen. So I'm happy. I'm really happy about that. I am sad that UK versus the world is going to end on my vacation, but like, unless they do something like a, a special kind of episode or something to save me some grace, please, please. Uh, but I will we'll definitely be excited to talk about all of the above. But God bless you, Dawn. I love you, sister. I hope you do well uh, in life and in general. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you at DragCon, hopefully. I talked already about Untucked. Wasn't a lot that happened. It's giving very friend hour right now. It's not too heavy. Little light shade, little joke over here. Da, da, da. Uh, the guest judge came back there, talked about allyship. Surprise, surprise. And then we got that lovely, lovely uh, message from Morphine Love Dion's mother, who I believe is also Plain Jane's mom or in some sort of relation there. And that was really, really sweet. And I, I love that Morphine got that today. So, yeah. 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 
that's it. My long ass lives. <laughs> I mean, low key, I was looking at the top clock. And I was like, man, damn, you did talk for quite some time. But no, we went off topic, but we also know that these are what the lives are about. Conversations that are held for a very long time. Us getting off topic and having these moments. And then guess what? I do edit reviews during the week. So if this is not your cup of tea and you tell me about it in this live, it doesn't make sense because I do edited reviews during the week. So you have something to watch. See, everyone wins. <laughs> I just saw one of my cats move. Oh, it's you. It's you, Mina. Why are you stalking me? You got a Marina turn? Oh, you about to jump on Mamu? Don't do that. As Mina graces her way through here. Oh no, she's going to play in the mirror. So if y'all watched my reaction for season 16 on Patreon, you saw Mina pop into the mirror for a second. She's starting to do that more often now. And it's kind of funny because she'll like play with herself, like looking in the mirror. And then because I moved and feng shui'd my entire apartment a little bit differently, I have it now to where the cats like to bound off the furniture and then onto their cat condos and then bounce off the wall. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting a rug where the cat tower used to be and like nailing it into the wall. So that way the cats, because I saw this in a video, can run up the rug on the wall and then bound off of it to said items and do like a park war, park war, park war thing kind of situation. So that's my next big idea. <laughs> I think they would like that. <laughs> Why cats hate? <laughs> that's silly. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen, I am going to order myself something to eat. I'm going to enjoy some reality TV, not drag race related with physical 100. I also need to catch up on X-Men 97 tonight and I'll be able to talk about that tomorrow because I know see Diggy Blake and all of them have watched it and I want it to be a topic for the panel. So I will watch it tonight so that we can talk about it in the panel tomorrow for sure. Yes. Uh, also, um, the Nickelodeon show, the documentary that came out recently, I was going to do a video. I've decided because of the topic at hand to relegate that to just the panel as a hot topic tomorrow, only because I had someone just let me know you may want to reconsider that because of the topic matter at hand and how that literally everything that happened in that documentary is against the terms of service of YouTube. So like if you, even if you talked about it, you you would need to be extremely careful because if you found one little thing, that's it for you. So I was like, mm, I'm not in the mood for that right now, but I will go over it in a video with the panel. And then there will be a Just Maddie this upcoming week because there's no more Espana All-Stars. And I will talk about it there too with you into detail. Uh, it's called uh, Quiet on Set. If you haven't seen it, it's on HBO Max. It is a documentary from the point of view of ch child stars and their parents and people that worked in Nickelodeon, in particular for Dan Schneider, who was responsible for shows like iCarly, Josh and Drake and Josh, The Amanda Show, and apparently all that, which I had no idea that man was a part of it. There, a couple of the episodes are on X now. There are a few people that have posted the full episodes in case you're like, Matt, I don't have that subscription. I don't want to see it. Some people have posted it and clearly they want the documentary to be shown. A lot has happened after the documentary, including the cast of Ned's Declassified sort of making fun of the situation saying unrelatable. Uh, what's his name? J uh, Josh Peck making fun of the situation and then double and then turning around and going, no, no, I reached out and did all that. But he did like a whole TikTok video. Why is TikTok the place for people to go to fuck up their worlds? Like, I don't know what's going on. Amanda Bynes apparently was asked about it, even though she's talked about on the documentary a lot. She declined to do the interview. Mind you, she just got out of that conservatorship. So like, and she's trying to have a normal life now. So like, I understand why she does not want to go back to her trauma. Like, I think we're good. And God only knows what happened to her. Oh, it's on the ID channel too? Work. So yeah, like if you haven't seen it, I am going to tell you it is going to ruin your childhood a bit. It did for me. I don't look at the network the same at all anymore. Like I don't look at Nickelodeon at all the same. At all. Because I feel 
based on things that were said, that they were very much trying to protect their creators and not the talent, like the people who were the, you know, the directors and the writers for the show, well, not the writers, but the, the show creators, they were protecting them and not the talent, like the costumers and the writers and the actors. And then you find out about people who were hired, who were working on set that took advantage of people. Also, the guy, the pickle man, oh my God, oh my God. I was gagged. I was gagged. I was gagged. Except Drake's dad and and uh, I forgot old boy's mother. Those were the only two that made sense and asked questions and took their children out quick because it was like uh uh-uh. uh. But like like Drake's dad was his mama. Drake's mama messed him over and and yeah and Drake wanted to do what he wanted to do and got caught up. It was horrible. But um, hold on. That did you see the new stuff that just dropped? Hold on. Who saw Salute Your Shorts? Okay, you remember the 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 bigger dude, the heavy set guy? He did he wasn't a part of that interview for Quiet on the Set, which I'm shocked they didn't ask him about it. But apparently they were in the day, they were trying to get Dan, and that's how they got the pickle boy. The pickle guy and that kid on that show. There's yes, yes, there's a whole thing about that too. And they posted it on uh X the other day. This guy is like doing like uh research and keeping up with it. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I was shocked to read the stuff I read. And then he also did an interview and he was talking about some of the things, the, the scenes he was asking. Him to... I'm getting chills talking about it. I, I, I watched that shit yesterday. I was like, oh my God, there's more. There's more. Not even from this documentary. There's more. Th- oh my God. It's horrible. It's horrible. So yeah, like some traumatizing stuff. That happened here. Some traumatizing situations and in, in in a lot of stuff that you're not probably going to be able to see, and in, in, in it may kind of mess up how you view Nickelodeon and as a whole. When that one guy from all that was like, we went in his house and he was doing it. He was a pen pal to John Wayne Gacy. I was like, wait that was not a red flag for anybody like immediately that didn't raise questions everything of everything about it you're going to be like and so no one was asking anything and i think that was the the whole for me it's the price of fame and it was also a lot of these people being taken advantage of because these kids were the breadwinners of the household and so they're like trying to do everything to keep them in there so that way the house doesn't crumble because they now depending their entire lives of their family are depending on this one person all that responsibility it was a it, it was a lot to receive and take in not not even gonna lie to you i was like wow this is heavy um let's see here Okay. Oh, I I figured you were a troll. I I figured you out. Let's see here. Go to channel. Let me block her real quick. I was like, who is this bitch? Um. Okay, got it. I saw a, a racist comment made um, and I needed to delete that person out of there. Let me go ahead and remove that. Thank you. All right, work. Yeah, that was racially motivated. I had to check their shit. I was like, oh, okay, figured you out, clocked out. I was like, oh my, that that's disgusting. Keep your nastiness over there. Oh, I'm not for that. Anywho, let's wrap this up. See what happens when you stay too long. You, you, the people were waiting for you. They wait for you. They wait for you, right? Okay. So listen, it's okay because it was done. They Then I ain't seen not one comment from them. All of a sudden I saw that. Check the channel. You're not a subscriber. Let's look at your, let's look at what you look at. Let's look at your stuff. Oh, you definitely don't, you're, you're not in here. 
So clocked, and it doesn't apply to me, but donkey lips, I was like, ooh. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah, you gotta get out of here. Gotta, you, you, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. I don't like that. That's nasty. Anywho, I appreciate y'all for tuning in today, for being here, for supporting your boy, for being a part of these lives. Uh, I thank you so very much. There will be timestamps later on in case you want to get to the get-ons and the gettins and the wit and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so me on the lookout for that a little bit later. I will be back tomorrow for the panel. We'll talk about some hot topics. We'll talk about this week's episode as well as UK versus the World Runway. And yeah, and then you'll see me Monday for UK versus the world too. And then we'll we'll be round the corner for my vacation. So yes, love you down. Please take care of yourselves. And I appreciate every single one of you, except for the racist people that were in my chats or the rude ones. So I don't appreciate y'all. God, I don't even appreciate y'all, but I appreciate you. <laughs> Hit that like button, share and subscribe, and I will see you. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Until next time. Bye. Bye, everybody. Listen.